for him. Yeah, yeah he was he... definitely like counting cards and some weird <laughs> stuff going on. That yeah, he had some like, weird Wait a second, you <laughs> how do you count cards on like decks that are never the same? He's we a, don't know, a, but he was cheating <laughs> because at any time Yugi could name a card and draw it. So the and of cheating. So well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's 100% and no cheating. And no one called him on it. God, my hair is it, a it, fucking it, mess. It, it, Not it's once a in the series do they go, uh, hey, Yugi. <laughs> it's a legit power he has that no one calls him out on. You see, are what he calls, cheating? what we call cheating, yes, we are. What he calls cheating, or what he call, what we, God, I'm having a stroke. What we, what we call, call cheating, cheating, he calls the heart of the cards. Yes. <laughs> he calls it strategy. <laughs> he calls it. cheating is strategy. It's just an illegal strategy. Well, and, and it, you almost well, need a marine to weigh on the in on that because their theory is if you aren't cheating, you aren't winning. That's an official marine corps tails. slogan: a is if you aren't cheating, coin. you aren't winning. The uh, <laughs> as a tails thing. I got tails. Nice. <laughs> Heads, heads or tails? An, a an allegory power? for the uncertainty of life. Of course, the wise oh, player the way, always you cheats. That, you guys know that um fucking Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie that's coming out? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, apparently, Ugly Sonic is gonna be in it. You you cannot be serious. It doesn't like, surprise it, me. It, it, it's not a hundred percent confirmed from what I know, but there's a guy on the IMDb page. I, I don't know if it's like the voice actor, the actual voice actor, or not, or if it's a different voice actor. But he's listed as playing Ugly Sonic. Who the fuck is Ugly Sonic? Sanic. The original oh. idea. No, it's not Sanic. No, it's oh, not oh Sanic. No, no, the, no, no. Um, so, no, 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 no. So, so it's that Sonic. It, it's that Sonic. Uh, okay, it's it's okay. it's pre pre change movie Sonic. Oh, okay. Sonic. That, see, see, see. It went from a meme to not being worse. Okay, now I'm depressed. What is the voice actor's name? Um, I'd have to check. Let me see. If it's Roger Craig Smith, we're screwed. <laughs> Chip and Dale. Uh, I swear, if it's Roger Craig Smith, we're dead. It, it, it's it's. I don't think it, it was. It wasn't Roger Craig Smith. Let me see. Well, then it's not. Dead. Sorry, Dusty. Yeah. You've lost out to Boga. You lost to Boga on a charisma check. How do you feel? Good thing I'm I was actually doing genuinely persuasion. interested in seeing this movie. Even though people have shit talked it. Why? Charisma check against my fucking charge here. What is going on? I can't roll above <laughs> a one. Hey, wait, and Boga beat you in a charisma check. Yes, I got a 14 because I rolled a one. Jin is currently being scammed out of all of his money by, by Boga so that he can... He is basically... Boga is currently asking for tithes from the entire party. <laughs> I, got, I guess I got Jordan on this one. Yep. Let's see. Uh, let's see a charisma save. Got a four for charisma. All right. Charisma. We're gonna see. There's my charisma. Oh, oh, charisma save. Okay. No, 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 no! You can't back out of this. Oh shit! Right, I forgot. I got. I forgot to join the uh, the roll twenty. If it's a char straight charisma roll, I don't have pluses. If it is a charisma a save, better. I have a plus. So okay, everybody but Kunj has to pay Boga four gold pieces. <laughs> Wait, even me? No, no, because oh. you're sharing the tithes. He's gonna he's gonna split the tithes with you so that they can you guys can make an offering to Bahamut. How poisoned can these gold pieces be? They cannot. He he is he he will cleanse thy thy shit. This shall be remembered. <laughs> Don't kill my fucking kobold, please. Don't torture the little guy either. He doesn't deserve it. God, my fucking oh my god, my internet's being so slow. Oh I goodness gracious! Can't see the fucking.
Yeah, it's, it's slow for me too. Uh, well, it might just be this. To the Starlink. Why can't you connect to the Starlink? Really fine, but shit's loading slow as hell. Like, what's your issue with connecting to the Starlink? Because I'll fix it if I can. No, I got it. It, for some reason, was being a pain, and it wasn't appearing in my, uh... Wow, well, that was a bad cell throw. I hear Alex playing Legends Arceus like a bitch. Just kidding. I got a five from a cell throw. What the fuck? Well, I think we're not streaming we yet. We are streaming. We are live. Yes, we are. We are live and in. Oh and in wait, fight. I. <laughs> the view... Okay, the well, sorry, I came in I didn't to, mean uh, to listen to us talking about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cheating in Yu-Gi-Oh anime, but they were lucky enough not to hear the conversation we were having before, and we will not elaborate on that. Why did you bring it up? <laughs> no, it's the air of mystery because we're not going to say what it was, but it was God. bad enough. It was bad enough that we didn't want to have it on stream it's so, a no -no hey uh, it's parker legends, hey. legends arceus is closed I, I i'm sorry i didn't realize we game now <laughs> son of a thank you for bitch. arriving for gamer time we appreciate it it is gamer time highest i rolled was a seven who opened up i'm disappointed life? Okay. I want to fight for myself. Me, I'm disappointed. I need my gamer juice. Yeah, your gamer juice is gamer poos. <laughs> we still prepping then? Uh, we we are ready to go whenever you guys are. Now that Monshore Parker is here, I <clears throat> just probably as ready Parker, as I'm gonna get. Apparently, Boga managed to convince everyone in the party to give him money. No, except for except for Jammerman, because he wasn't there when it happened. Uh -oh. So Boga has collected Wait, a total do, of eight gold pieces and ties. No, and 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 I was smart enough, I count, and, right? I, and, and I resisted it. <laughs> You see, I rolled a charisma check for Boga just for fun, and everybody else rolled like both Dusty and Harley rolled ones on random charisma checks they were making. So I've made a decision. <laughs> they lose four gold each to the kobold. Because <laughs> he's just that persuasive. <laughs> the funniest That's thing about that roll. is that Dusty has a plus thirteen to charisma checks. <laughs> well, I have a plus nine. Christ. To charisma. Well, I have a with plus expertise. 13 to persuasion. Why don't I just roll a d20? <laughs> Where's my dice roller? There it is. Oh, yeah, that's now right. Uh, Sebastian gets half of the tithes, uh, uh, so that's four gold. I'm not a part of this. Then Boga keeps all eight gold. And that's Go just how it. it is. Speaking. <laughs> Speaking of uh of everything, you know you know the funniest thing was is that ever I was gonna say that everybody starts the day with two more gold pieces than they had last night because of the rats the rat fight ring. Hell yeah, <laughs> baby, let's go. What? <laughs> rat fight. Wait, 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 wait. No wait, context. Wait. Context. I, context did, free. <laughs> No, 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 not context free. Where the fuck was there a rat fight ring? <laughs> Yesterday. It, it is now. Yesterday? Yeah. The Yesterday so, real world? Or no. It was, it, it was, it was intense. Oh, well. Yeah, it was literally gladiatorial combat at its finest. There was, there was a mouse there. I was listening. I don't remember this. So, well, it, 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 it was so cool, it deleted itself from your memory. <laughs> oh my god, Apparently. you guys. <laughs> okay, let's... So, uh, it, it, it is see. currently 8 o'clock in the morning on the 16th of the 11th month, the 11th month of the year. And anybody who isn't cuddling up to Ocularis in the alleyway hut, the... Okay. You guys are waking up in the uh, the building that you guys stayed in. Uh, why am I forgetting the name? Hang on, I have it here somewhere. Bad DM doesn't have the name of every single thing in it. No, I do. It's right called the Seasick well. Captain. The in the an in called the Seasick Captain. No, yeah, we came here like... because Sebastian wanted to see some bar fight. Yep. But then I ended up staying outside to watch rat <laughs> gladiator fights. 
I can't believe I don't remember. Oh, oh wait, no, it's because I, I was tabbed out of the stream for the last bit because I had to go do something. Oh, uh, hey, Probably tell you tell thing. you what, um, Koonj, do me a favor. Yeah. Make me an animal handling check. Okay, I got a plus one to that. Let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> Better than a good... Better so, so after partaking in either in a little bit of observation and a single fight during rat gladiatorial combat, your rat gets plus two HP to its max. My my my, my mouse is is that thick. Not your thick. mouse has an additional two HP. Okay, okay, cool. cool. Wow, you've uh, just like tripled its HP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The mouse can now take a hit from I don't know <laughs> from <back>. another mouse <laughs> from another <laughs> mouse. <laughs> oh gosh, your mouse has also <laughs> learned to do flurry of blows. No, I'm <laughs> I'm kidding. Wouldn't that be sick <laughs> no. though? Flurry of blows. I I I my mouse is mainly gonna be a <laughs> background now flavor. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a background flavor character. It's not gonna. Oh hey, at least at least your <laughs> mouse is alive. Mouse, you squeeze it and it shoots a fireball out of the yeah. mouth. <laughs> uh, my my, my uh my druid Grinnell, he has a mouse friend uh from his background that is uh it's petrified, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's part it's so part of the reason I, he adventures. To, anyway. Uh, I need to I need to start this uh, to to the whole party. Looking through my inventory, I don't remember when Dominic did this or whether or not this is true, but for some reason I have in my jewelry and valuable section a lustrous jet black gemstone apparently worth 5,000 gold. Yes, that's correct. You guys got yeah, it from the demon. I think I remember you picking that up. Oh yeah, the demon! Yeah, we also need, so need to find a replacement glass for, 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 for the mirror so we can sell it. <laughs> so, yes, sir. Okay, just wanted to preface that everybody else remembers finding a 5,000 GP worth black stone. I, I don't yeah, remember how much it was worth, but I remember you picking up the gem. The gemstone itself yeah. was worth 5,000. I, I think it was in the same vein that you were wanting to go find a good, good um, what was it, Jewel, jeweler to make something. Yes. And I got all butt hurt, so I made a bunch of ring blanks. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I I made the suggestion that I would get it imbued into something, and then it was like, well, that's not fair because it's worth five thousand fucking gold, and that could go a long way to helping everybody. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sell it. So so those in the alleyway, uh. Ocularus has got a bounty of various different alleyway things. Uh, being so close to the sea, it's less wall salamanders and more uh, grungy alleyway crabs. <laughs> he's got like a little. He's got like a little pot, and he's like boiling it. He's like doing a slav squat, just like stirring the pot, and then you just every so often a crack and a slurp. Are the rest of the sailors out there going, I got some fish we can throw into the jump jambalaya. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, no. So everybody wakes up like Ocularis is now in the middle of the street next to the freaking docks with a whole bunch of other sta sailors like squatting over a pot the size of like it, just uh, a basketball and they're all just tossing various little fish and like shellfish into a jambalaya pot and it is it's breakfast! A pot a size of a basketball is just a regular pot. Listen to motherfucker. <laughs> Listen to motherfucker. Who's Got motherfucker? Uh, everybody else is awakening inside the actual inn. And uh, it's, it's a lovely, lovely sunny morning here in Balbot. The sand is sandy and the sea breeze licks your face even when you're waking up inside. First thing I do is 
go investigate what all the ruckus is outside. There's like there's like a there's like a sailor playing a lute too, and just like ding 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 and they're just all like making jambalaya. I apologize that I cannot make the sound of a loot with my mouth. Do I have to like squish my cheeks so like I try harder. <laughs> try harder. Oh my god. So Sebastian, that is what you see. Ho hold on, hold on. Are you you're texting it to me, right? No. Wait. I see a guy playing a loot. You see the the Ocularis Jambalaya pot scenario. Yeah. Well, that is obviously, it comes with the territory, yes. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because it would technically be Chipino. <laughs> you, you know, <sighs> I have to Google the word Which Chipino is a now. Gula. If I remember correctly, it's a dish out of New York that sailors commonly make. And the story of how it came to be was a sailor was asking an immigrant if he had anything to put in the pot. And he couldn't. And the sailor had a thick accent, and the immigrant had a thick accent. So the name and went from Chip In to Chipino. Ah, okay. Beautiful. Fun fun facts with the plates but it's in a question. Goulash. <laughs> fun facts with the fun facts. We should we should have a fact of the day. A fact of the day. Uh, fact of the day. Um, I have crippling, uh, broken leg. I was gonna say you have crippling. <laughs> Sebastian has crippling, crippling stupid broken leg. <laughs> I have crippling. Oh right, I need to get everybody's uh, HPs updated. I have osteoporosis. Uh, do you want me to restore mine since, since we rest? Or no, yeah, everybody. Everybody is restored back to normal since they've rested. Oh. So it's all good. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, no, uh, you guys. No, uh, you guys uh, got such a bad sleep out in the alleyway and in the inn that you are all dead at current. There you go. Everybody, everybody should be fixed up. <laughs> Sweet. So I'm the only one alive because I wasn't in either of those places. <laughs> this is my uh... campaign now. <laughs> well, so what else? What else is everybody up to this morning? Are there any civilized folk who uh, want to eat breakfast in the actual, like, place, or are we yeah, all going to partake in jambalaya? Let's get mm. that jambalaya. Uh, only food in Chipino. the actual building. Either way, it's it's a goulash made with seafood. Uh, <laughs> More so, yeah, or less. You can, uh, you can you can get a meal inside the uh inside the building. Uh you're gonna be spending like three silver pieces for a whole breakfast. Does that sound for a good breakfast anyway? You can get something cheaper if you want. Sure, I'll spend three silver. Okay. So I when when I get up, I'm gonna get join the Japino. So I, yeah. just so I can get some just, just so I, I, also that way I can get some I can ask the man who's playing a, a loot to, for some tips on how to play, since so I can start learning how to play. The uh, the man the man he introduces himself as Jack uh, Jack Sharpbeak, and he or not Sharpbeak Silverbeak, and he's like, I could teach you how to play. I know how to play. What you want some lessons or something, young man? Yeah, I used to got an instrument to pass the time or so while we're traveling, man. Uh, could use some tips or so on how to, you know, do it. You got a plucker on you? Uh, I guess a I, loot. I have a loot, closest... son. Do you have a loot? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I bring it out of my bag. Whip Here. it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, I do. Okay, I do. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't just whip it out in front of random old men. <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly getting uncomfortable as we discuss this. Um, okay, so, go? okay, go, let's go. so he so he gives you he gives you a couple of lessons and you you take some time uh while everybody is eating breakfast to get a couple of tips and pointers in uh i'm gonna consider you a little bit closer to being proficient in the loot okay great now i don't now at least i won't irritate the party whenever i play this uh, so, um, 
let's see that's that uh everybody's got food so breakfast time goes by fairly quickly uh about half an hour later um you guys are all kind of gathered up with the exception of dusty who's eating inside like a civilized man and the uh the chapino party <laughs> is starting to slowly dissipate uh into the ether um I, I, uh, recently a ship just came into dock and is it has begun unloading some things uh and amongst the the ship goers there appears to be a very very disheveled disheveled person walking in they're 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 wearing a very strange looking mask and but but it's really not their most glaring feature because their most glaring feature is the giant set of wings uh does anybody have any good knowledge of history or anything like that Sebastian no. has no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> I have I have a plus two the history. You make me That's make me a history it. check. I have an intelligence okay. of ten. Actually, somebody could make me a history or nature check. Uh, let me see what's my history. Ooh. That's oh, okay, a really never mind. good history. All right, Kunj. Uh, you take note of the stranger who is coming off of the boat and approaching the docks and the dispersing uh, crowd. And you you haven't seen this in quite some time, but you have heard of these people. Uh, this appears to be an Owlin, uh, one of those sub-races of Arakakura that are fairly rare. You've only heard them being uh, very prominent out in places like Rukrat, where there's a lot more... Uh, a lot more wilderness untamed in that sense. Uh, they are dressed wearing a very strange looking mask, though, and uh, they appear to be quite disheveled. Huh, that's, uh, I, I guess I'll pipe up to the rest of our, uh, what little Chapino, um party is going on. That's an interesting fellow over there. Sebastian looks up from doing a stupid jig dance as the as the jambalaya is being boiled, and he takes a minute to look up, going, "Huh." Uh, so, and it, and it is at this point uh, that the uh, the party does fully dissipate. Uh, the The sailors are all off, going to go do their actual jobs because they're pretty sure if they spend any more time participating they will probably have their pay docked uh and so it leaves you guys with an almost finished uh an almost empty pot of a uh, chipino and uh, just the stranger it feels very enticed you you can tell by the smell of fresh seafood even grungy dock seafood the, the stranger is enticed, you say? Yes. <laughs> it smells quite good. There are quite a That's few a strange characters squatting hour. around the uh, the pot, though. <laughs> well, then I suppose the stranger, uh, being so uh, enticed by the seafood, <laughs> will head over to, or the smell of the seafood, will head over to the source of the seafood to some and see uh, what's going on over here. We got sardines, we got crabs, we got bass. Where did the bass come from? We have no fucking idea. <laughs> Some dude tossed it in there when nobody was looking. A bass of questionable origin. <laughs> Take your pick of random assortment of fish. You probably consider any food ocularis cook to be of questionable origin. <laughs> That's why Sebastian never actually ate it, instead ate trail rations because he knows it's probably poisoned well that'll be uh, that'll be bad for one of us <laughs> you are the the stranger the, the stranger is quite hungry uh after being out at sea for quite some time uh, would you not mind sharing a bit of that there no <laughs> Which fish do you want? No is just... in you don't want to share it, or no is in I can't have any. I don't mind. Here, we, like I said, we have crab. We have bass. What is that? And I point to something random in the pot. 
<laughs> and I'm looking at Ocularis, like, pointing at something, asking him what that is. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm, this is making me laugh too much. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, well... Uh, whatever it is, I'm hungry enough to eat anything. So, if you don't mind, I suppose stick I'll have a bite. In there. Just stick your hand in there. Hand. There are no utensils. <laughs> as far as I know, there are no utensils at the moment. Are, are there no utensils here? <laughs> no uh, you know what? Let's let the dice decide. <laughs> Not even a ladle? <laughs> there is a ladle. Somebody brought a wooden ladle because they saw the dragonborn eating a fish with his bare hands. <laughs> and they were like, nah, not for me. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, then she will walk up to the pot, uh, I assume, get down because I assume it's very low to the ground. And, oh, yeah. Uh, scoop up a ladle of the mixture and have her first bit of food to eat in probably quite a few days. Well, well I imagine. You were you were fed a bit, but uh, obviously it's uh, boat rations. They aren't no. they aren't the cream of the crop. This is also not really the cream of the crop. You really get that you really get that taste of uh, of uh, underside of a dock oyster and uh, crab that was caught crawling on some trash uh, and bass of questionable origin. Definitely feel a bit of aftertaste of bass of questionable origin. <laughs> it's still no it's still better than hard tack. Worse. <laughs> no it's, worse I've certainly tasted else. worse in the past. <laughs> I need to know where the bass came from. There are no lakes. <laughs> you had you lost your chance when the guy who tossed the bass in back? left. <laughs> Strictly, it was not a sea bass. I'm just gonna let you know. Yeah. Well, I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Do you think the guy would have run as soon as, as soon as he added it if it was a sea bass? No, Wait, but I, I was have, saying uh, there was a possibility. <laughs> I have a plus. I have a plus eight to nature. Can I roll to determine the origin of the sea bass? You know what? Yeah, let's see. Let's see a nature roll. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, that'll be a 27. Oh! Yeah, so you take the bass that you're tasting is. It's real, real scary. It, like, you, you take a moment and you think about this taste, and it's not like any bass on the plains that you can identify. No, this must have been an astral sea bass. <laughs> Do I feel my stomach collapsing in on itself? No, no, but uh, no, you're definitely frightened. Oh, uh, what was that second part? Frightened. Oh, frightened. Terrified, even. <laughs> well, I'm still gonna say I'm desperate enough to keep eating it and not spit it out. <laughs> as long as I don't feel like I'm being poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have yourself a nice, good fill of the uh, of the food, the seafood with questionable astral sea bass included. <laughs> oh my god, fucking astral sea bass! And with that, the pot is fully empty. <sighs> oh. Well, after finishing the, well, I suppose the last bit of uh, questionable mixture from the pot, uh, she'll <laughs> look up from the pot and look around at the uh, various uh, folks gathered around the uh, gathered around and go, "So, oh, what are you lot doing around here? I uh, didn't act is uh, <clears throat> I didn't exactly end up here by choice. So, uh, having a group to tag along with somewhere would at least be nice." Uh. Hmm. You know, at this point, I'm not quite sure. We're going to a party. Oh, a party? What kind yeah. of party? Quite sure, to be honest, but it's, uh, 
One we have to attend. In order to... I don't have any foes with me. Uh, honestly, and the clothes I have aren't even that great. Uh, all of the stuff I had got destroyed when we were attacked by pirates. Good news! We're all going shopping for nice clothes. <laughs> I forgot about that! Oh, well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope I have enough. Way. I do also don't have much gold left over. It's okay. I ripped up my fine clothing to use as bandages. <laughs> uh, I probably that. have not changed my clothes in days, but good thing we have wizards that have precedentation. So far, it sounds like you have a warlock that does that, but... Yes. You see, Sebastian is stupid. What's the difference between a wizard and a warlock to him? Who's paying the bills? They both cast True. magic. Both they wizard. both cast magic, both wizard, right? <laughs> it, it, it just sounds like to me, he just thinks everyone in the party is a wizard. Because we all do magic. <laughs> well, see, he does magic too, but yeah, yeah. magic is a is paladin He's a magic. strong wizard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. He's a warlock. I'm not that stupid, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> God, why does my head? Sebastian might audio... be stupid enough to mistake uh, me for a wizard. That's true. Plant wizard. He, he definitely might. God, what the fuck is wrong with my headset? I'm not. I'm not sure. The I guess right I, I guess I technically am a plant going wizard. Out. We'll just fix okay. it, dumbass. I'm trying. There we go. <laughs> Okay. See, I told you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I cannot. But anyway, right now the plan, if you choose, now, so Sebastian's going to it's going to lean in all dramatic, like, if you choose to travel with us, mm -hmm. that's a commitment. You're choosing a path, my friend, a path that could very well lead to death. Well, I'm used to paths that lead to death, but, um, just what kind of path are we talking about here? Uh, hmm. Demons from other realms, that's one of them. Uh, dark forces beyond our comprehension. Um, attending parties. Uh, and stopping wars. How does that sound? That all sounded quite fascinating. Stopping wars is not exactly my forte. However, um, <clears throat> I suppose I could give it my best shot. <laughs> well, bored, and I he reaches his hand out all heartily, like muscles flexed, grabs your hand with a hearty <laughs> grip, and starts shaking it real hard. Welcome to the team. The name's Sebastian. <laughs> From. I probably do not take this well, given that I have a strength of 10. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, well, it's nice to meet you, Sebastian. Uh, my name is Celeria. To meet you. And, and he lets go? The rest of you would be? She looks around at everyone else. <laughs> have I even left the tavern yet, or am I still up there enjoying oh, yeah. my you, civilized you... food? <laughs> yeah, would you like to be? <laughs> I guess, sure. <laughs> okay. Coon, uh, not Coon, Jen is uh, still inside enjoying his lovely <laughs> breakfast of bacon and eggs. Uh, and... Well, he's gonna be in for a wonderful surprise. <laughs> Someone civilized. Okay, wait, Alex, really quick. Is it Salira mm -hmm. or Saliria? Oh, sorry. I think I think I did stumble a bit there. It's Salira. Oh, okay, good. Because I had I have everything down without yeah. the extra I, because that's what it was on your sheet. All right, cool. Yeah, sorry. no, all right. No, the, I, my brain just kind of farted there. That's what it is on the sheet. Please continue. As it stands, the crazy one over the pot is Ocularis. Uh, don't mess with him or he'll write nasty things about you in his book. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's not very nice. I think. Harley's muted. Harley! Oh. Rut row. Yeah. When did I get muted? That's a good question. A that that must have happened a while ago. Yeah, because we were we uh yeah. <laughs> that explains why no one was responding to my fun comments of global domination and uh, <laughs> Yeah, see now that sounds <laughs> more in character. <laughs> oh sorry. And me randomly pulling out vials of poison and staring down the owl and just putting them away. Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so everybody just didn't pay attention to the crazy guy over the pot until they're like, Yeah, this is Ocularis. <laughs> You know, it's very, it's very accurate. We just we didn't listen to it. We didn't hear anything you said. We were just zoning him out. We've learned to tune his lunacy out of our minds. It's good. probably safer that way. Oh god! Because I have a fully functional plan to just overthrow the government if need be. God, In case our new new fails, it. he has a backup plan. And it involves poisoning a lot of people. <laughs> it somehow it always involves poisoning a government. lot of people. Well, it would be no fun if you only poison one guy, so you poison a hundred. All this conversation being had <laughs> next to a lawful good paladin that is just too stupid to understand. <laughs> Either he's too stupid or he's way too... ignorant. I don't think this um, is all a joke. Probably. He probably, you know, we'll go with that. He thinks it's a joke. <laughs> An elaborate guffaw, if you will. <laughs> A right uh, funny ruse it was. Yes, the weird elf looking man hovering over a pot who's occasionally peeking into his vials of poisons, wondering if he dumped something in the pot he shouldn't have. <laughs> Uh oh. Over again. <laughs> By the way, that's not his real face. <laughs> that's almost as good as me making friends with our boat buddies. This isn't even my real face. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> All right, next on the list. The list of crazies. Again. Literal the <laughs> list of crazies. Yeah. Yeah. Because misery certainly loves company. Uh, I guess I'm Kirunj. Nice to meet you. You're not sure? Wait, what? <laughs> she just <laughs> stares at him with a with a cocky smirk. Like that. Not like you could see it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You can feel it. <laughs> Something's wrong. I can feel it. Well, she you said you're not sure because you said, I guess I'm. Yeah. Well, 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 I mean, I mean, my character, like, there's someone new here. There, there, there's, there's still the dress, so. Who would be that? Who the fuck is this? Oh, Stefan has joined. Uh oh. Guten Tag. Oh, no. Joy. Um, stay. Steven, uh, you're a bit late to the party. I had a question for you before the stream started, but I can't ask it of you while you're here. So I will have to inquire about your services later. You don't later. want your audience to hear about it? No. <laughs> oh, no. no! He's gone! Well, he went to Pokemon DD. Yep. Alright. Oh, he, he did. He went to Pokemon DD. Well, that doesn't help either, Steven! He's no, he can't, he, can't talk, he can't talk. He had his wisdom teeth removed. So oh, rip the rip the homie. Uh, what it, the frick? I wanted to hear that. <laughs> Damn. Well, either way, uh, yeah, I'm kind of shy around people. Okay. Anyway, uh, who's next? <laughs> All right, I've asked Stephen the question. I will inform you when he answers me oh, back. God. Oh God. Oh God. I <laughs> I don't know he's Steven. I feel like he might speak just to blurt it out on stream, even if he hurts his mouth. I'm gonna point down to the kobold. Hi! Gesture for him to introduce himself. Hi! Uh, 
Uh, my name is Boga. I am a I am a paladin of Bahamut in training underneath Sebastian. This one. I give a hearty thumbs up. <laughs> Would you like to make a donation to Bahamut on this fine day? <laughs> no, Boga, stop. Boga, we need tithes. <laughs> Boga, quit extorting people! <laughs> Why did- it's not extortion! We need tithes! Coons listen to Boga and be like, Good job, you make me proud. <laughs> Where's your tithes, <laughs> mister? Uh, maybe I'll pay later. I'm a bit short oh, of cash. Oh, right, right! You said there was a pirate attack! Oh, Bo, he, like, grabs your hand and gently strokes it. Boga is so sorry. Bahamut's blessing be with you on your trying times. Trying times. Boga will ask for ties another time from you, good madam. Right. Okay. Selective Nice extortion. to meet you, too. <laughs> Good job, Boga. Selective extortion is what you're looking for. A at this moment, too, Sebastian's dog is very carefully sniffing you because you smell very weird and like the ocean. Oh, I'm sure I do. Oh, hello there. Who's this one? She says, like, carefully reaching down to try and pet his head. He's very friendly. The dog's head. Not the kobolds. <laughs> the Boga, Boga lets out a sad whimper. <laughs> Just starts petting Boga. I mean, I can pet the kobold if the kobold wants to be pet, but... Well, he looks disappointed that your hand moved right past his head towards the dog, but he gets it. <laughs> uh, I'll give I'll, I'll give Gumboga a, just a compact. Gumboga. I heard Gumboga, and now I just can't, B like... <laughs> Cajun Boga. Anyway, uh, he he seems very pleased. Uh, but but uh, the dog very very much enjoys a pat, and you get a cautious but optimistic uh lick on the uh, on the hand. Though it's hard to feel through what I assume to be like your uh your alchemist's gloves. Now, regardless. All right. What is uh? What is? What kind of dog is the dog again? I forget. He is a husky. Uh, he's, a husky. he's a husky that uses the mastiff stat block because flavor. Uh, Why not? The fact that there's no only one kind trait. of dog in D and D is kind of silly. Well, here here's the thing. Also, he is wearing oh a dog version of. Hat All right, I'm posting. I'm posting Steven's been... response in general. Oh my god. Just, just so you guys can be just as upset at this as I am. But while Dominic types that, uh oh. Mm. Oh my fucking god! I'm also, uh, I'm also gonna gas him up a little tell bit. Tell you to tell him what I want. I, I can't tell you what I want you to tell him because I'm pretty sure it's TOS. <laughs> God, will you guys? Okay, yes, we're 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 moving away so we don't break TOS. All right, uh, next next please. Well, talking about breaking TOS doesn't break TOS. Who who it's hasn't Steven besides Kunj or a besides Jen? Excuse me. Of Rouge the Bat saying pissing all by yourself, handsome. What? The Fuck you. What? <laughs> who is next to introduce themselves? <laughs> where, where can I buy that? Introduce, <laughs> introduce themselves. Jen is the last one, and or not the last one, because he's inside. I I think it's Jamberman. I think it's Jamberman. Oh jeez. Oh god. Someone else has to talk to the new guy. Hey yo, what's up, my dude? <laughs> Apparently, the gnome talks in uh, modern. <laughs> Modern I'm not slime. gonna say anything here that would uh go badly. <laughs> what could you say that could go badly? You're saying hello! <laughs> Hi, my name is Jamberman and I'm a fucking gnome! What more could you say? <laughs> Fucking cooking in the I kitchen. need to throw in a racial slur My... for cobalts. <laughs> the Civil War does not approve of the modern slang. Uh... Quick, like we quit get... emotionally abusing my cobalt. 
<laughs> I must. It's part no. of my character. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I, I, I suppose so. Just uh, hi. Just like hey, man. Half-hearted way. I'm, I'm Jammerman. What's up? <laughs> Now I'm imagining uh, you doing uh, like gangsters. Exactly, like, I'm gonna throw like a gang sign in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn about this in school. <laughs> <laughs> we have another member of our wonderful band of idiots in the in the inn over there. Yeah, so it is at this point to eat with us. Jen, nobody has showed up to actually join you for breakfast. So it's at this moment that you're that you are finishing up and readying yourself to step outside. <laughs> oh goody. I guess I wander outside and see if I can find anybody. And your entire party is standing around outside. <laughs> Ocular is still squatted over an empty pot of uh, Chapino, and they're all talking to a very strange plague doctory looking Owlin, who is. Uh, th and they're all just co mingling like normal. It's it's very strange. Yeah, I'll wander up. And so, to the party joins the last member, the the fairly sharply dressed uh, at almost all times and a very merchanty looking boy, Miss. Well, there you go. I guess you could say he is generally <laughs> dapper. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait just a fucking minute. Oh yeah. Gosh. Hey Dom, die. Hold on. Die. I can't. I can't. I would break terms of service. Just drop dead. If I did, I okay. get banned. You wouldn't be breaking. Terms oh my god, there's six you, of us. You would. Oh my god. Yeah. If it was we, guys, guys, we could call ourselves the ridiculous six. We literally. Yes. Yes. We literally yes! <laughs> Six of us. More wonderful name ideas. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure how I would market that one, though. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, oh they're coming to save us! The ridiculous <laughs> six! <laughs> what would our banner look yeah. like? Our banner? <laughs> would, a banner? Would be a picture of a dragonborn yeeting a gnome across the mountain as he casts Fireball onto an yes! unsuspecting villain. Yes! Or, or it could just be, it could just be like one of those heroic tapestries of everybody, except for one of the characters is just replaced by four cheese wheels. That's casting a Fireball, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Of course. With the question, hat on. Question, if you cast a Fireball and hurt yourself, do you become a Cheez-It? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I would simply sculpt no, it around no, no. myself. There's a lot more steps involved in that. You Nonsense. No, I'm pretty oh, sure he that's how it works. He needs to do it in a salt mine. He needs to do it in a salt mine, and then he No, you need to turn the cheddar into a dough, and then you bake the dough thoroughly. Listen, you if you're a you're plebeian, fool. wizards know how to make Cheez-Its with made... one go. You absolute fools. I'm made of Parmesan. God. If you just heat up four cheese wheels, that's just gonna make a pile of melted cheese. Hey, hey, guess what, dumbass? Yeah. There's Parmesan cheeses. So there you go. God, Frick. why? Why does this continue? Oh my god. <laughs> so now that. Uh, Nothing is accomplished. So, Jen, you are approaching the party, and there is a conversation about cheese <laughs> going on. Uh, but. <laughs> But yeah, the 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 warlock has joined the group. The warlock has joined the party. And my first question's gonna be, who's your guys' new friend? Shit, I heard freaking. I just look and shrug. Some weirdo. <laughs> Go back to messing with my pot. <laughs> and what did you get a pot? <laughs> You're gonna put her hands on her hips and look down, look down at him and go, You are not the nicest one, are you? And I just glare at you and pull out the book and start writing. <laughs> oh. oh boy. 
Okay. I'll have you know any little lies you decide to write about me in that book of yours will be thoroughly rejected by those who know me truly. <laughs> I don't think that matters. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, already he's already published part one. It's just a matter of time before our reputations are down the toilet. When when the lies cost a dime at a corner store, it's hard for the truth to be well known. No, dude, watch watch all this time. We've been talking shit about Ocularis, and he's actually just been writing genuinely good things about everybody. In the end, we just pick up the book expecting to be slandered, and it's just like genuinely nice shit. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that's the case, but <laughs> one can dream. Well, uh, so I suppose uh, she will also turn to the warlocks and so none of the people that he asked her answer his question and go, <laughs> "Well, my name is Solid." Oh, God, sorry, I keep fucking, I keep fucking it up. <laughs> I should have chosen such a harder pronounced name. <laughs> my name is Salira. It's a pleasant. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, hello, Solero. I am Jean Ifritis, at your service. I just heard a. F <laughs> oh, I heard. I was hearing Cameron, and I'm like, what is he saying? I just heard, like, General Sebastian from a distance, and then I heard fine clothes. <laughs> General Sebastian <laughs> from a distance. Fuck you. He's accidentally. I can figure out if I can turn up Cameron anymore. I don't know what's going on. Why he's so quiet for me? Because everybody else sounds fine. You know what? Let me let me get right here. How does that feel? Please does don't. That feel Sensual. Better? Please don't. Sensual. Please back up. <laughs> Let's go. Go away. Let's go buy some fine clothes. Uh -huh. I am no I longer I going turn my to... volume up and turn everybody else down. <laughs> oh my god. So everybody what, wants me to turn on the, the voice acting mic and literally deep throat it to see what happens. Do it, you all. <laughs> no. Please. Oh god. god. Okay, here. Why? So in oh, the god, meantime, uh you guys are going yeah. to head off to the uh to the clothes store with your new friend to buy some fancy digs. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. That sounds good. How is everybody doing? Just the last bit of the money. Uh, there's I have only left soup. On some fucking clothes. <laughs> it's only how does, how does I can only find feel? soup. <laughs> so Who here has a big dick. So you know I mean? the entire party follows. Oh, no, that would be your mother. <laughs> you guys follow the directions that Phil Ramon uh, gave to you to to find the clothing store, which you guys are able to find fairly well out in the plaza. Uh, it was again called Rowdy Raymonds. And it is just a tailor shop. Uh, you can tell, though, that it seems to be pretty well geared towards tourists, as you could probably guess from Philramon's description. Uh, and there are quite a few people milling around outside and in. So you guys can feel free to enter the shop and do some shopping. Sounds like a plan. Does there look to be any nice clothes? that don't look pompous yes. as hell. Why, yes, a as you're entering into the store itself, actually, while there are a lot of very touristy-looking tunics and bright colors and embroidered patterns, there is an actual section of the store where there appears to be very, very nice, not too pompous, but very nice high-end clothes for going to things like parties or official events. Uh, they're all lined up in various sizes and in various, uh, and in various colors, and there's even a sign that says, need resizing? Ask for help. Well, <laughs> I really want to find an excuse for me to wear my armor into that fucking party. I suppose if there is, uh, such a section, I'll, uh, I'll probably head for that too, rather than, because I doubt I have the money to be buying anything, uh, like gold laced and you know fucking silk sewn there is nothing of that sort here um it is it is yeah, very nice yeah, clothes you know that I mean. you're looking at but the pompous stuff does not appear to be on this uh store's list 
Uh, though I think you guys do oh, know okay. through the <coughs> mysterious drow that disappeared a while back that there is a tailor shop in Scales that you could go to for very, very high-end stuff. Mm -hmm. But we were God. trying to avoid the price hike. <laughs> My God. Dominate. Uh, question... Yes. As I browse the stock, because I totally didn't just Google fancy medieval clothes. Uh oh. <laughs> let's let's oh, no. see it. Are you gonna send me? Are you gonna send me a picture? You that what I'm getting? Sweet bippy, I will. You bet your sweet bippy, I, I will. <laughs> you bet your sweet bippy, I did. All right, let's see it. What do we got? I'm trying to get it. Hold on, it's being a pain in the butt. <laughs> no, I don't want to buy it off of Amazon. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Mega Corporation. Your your Amazon your Amazon suggestions Boom. are fucked, no? though. <laughs> Boom. Trust me. Oh, you posted it in the the general. Okay, hang on. Maybe that. I don't know. Uh, that's really fancy. You could. Uh, Never you could mind, go man. for you could I go for a coat. Number two. There is there are coats, uh, <laughs> but they're not quite that fit. I guess I guess you know what I guess that one's basic enough. It doesn't have the well embroidered lining, here, but there is a here, coat of that sort. Number two. Option number two. Okay. <laughs> Just straight edgy fucking bullshit. No. Oh what? my god. No, that is not here. The first one. Okay. That's... The first one is there. Yes, you can have a it's code of take, that kind. It's taking an hour. Hell to yeah. Load. Literally so... though, when I searched this, this is one of the first fucking results. This is one god of the first damn it, goddamn it's not results. Showing up. So the the coat itself is blue and it has some embroidery. It is more in the lines of like sea waves than it is uh than it is like that swirling flowery pattern. It is fine. It is fine. But yes. As long and Sebastian's going to act like he knows fashion. He says, as long as it complements my scales. <laughs> uh it, it it would cost you, according to the price tag, uh for the coat, it looks like five gold pieces. Bin bin. That's oh. what I like to see. And I'm, I'm just going to, going to walk. It. I'm going to walk into their changing room, put on the tattered set of fine clothes I've been wearing and packing with me since the very beginning of all this, <laughs> and just walk out and, yep, these are mine, and leave. Just FYI, the likelihood of this coat being <laughs> torn apart for bandages is high. So, <laughs> just... Oh Keep god. That in mind. Oh, I'm gonna send I... this directly to you. How how fancy would how fancy would you rate that on a scale of one to ten? Oh boy. Alright, let's find let's find out. Um I'm struggling to find Yeah, that's decent. That's very fancy. Um uh, everything I, would... I can find is either overly fancy or very shitty and boring looking. <laughs> Uh, you could find a, uh, a dress, something like that, but it doesn't have any of the, like, the openings or the fine embroidery. It's kind of just like a regular dress in that color scheme. Mm. Dude, we could be the most flamboyant dumbasses in the party. Just, just to fucking peacock our way into the king's chambers. Peacock your way. Goodness gracious. The rest of you would. Oculars is an option too. They're in some rather worn, old, fancy clothes. <laughs> yeah, you fine. know what? I'd say, I'd say you could find something similar. Dungeons since then. The the bow itself oh, would uh, totally cost extra, the but the dress underneath it would cost. It looks like seven gold pieces. Seven gold going... pieces. How much would the bow be? Uh, the bow itself looks like it's gonna run you five silver on top of it. Okay. That's... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna walk I'm not this like broke, so I can get it. up to the up to the counter, and I'm I'm going to place it down and I say, I'd like to purchase this. So what you're what you're looking at is a very is a very portly uh, man who is wearing what appears to be a tunic coated in flowery stitching, uh, more or less one of those tourist tunics that you're seeing kind of laying around. He's like, ah, I'll go ahead and bring that up for you. How? Uh, let's see. Do you need it resized? Does it fit okay? Honestly, I have no clue. 
You didn't try it on? Go try it on, you, you big lug. I... Looking at my armor, could you get, could it fit over this? And wearing the armor, because he really doesn't want to take it off. Not well. Uh, I could maybe resize it for an extra fee. So you're saying I could have a cape? Wait a minute! I have a ca I have a robe of scintillating colors. Why don't I just wear that? Because I thought that you were wearing that as, like, a, a thing it this is, entire it's a time. Cape. It's a cape over my armor. As you can see, I'm looking for more excuses to just wear my armor. As he takes the, uh, the, the, the coat and he walks into the changing room and goes to try it on. Okay, uh, the coat itself will not fit over your armor without <laughs> adjustment, but over your body, it will. <sighs> Fine, I guess I don't need armor. <laughs> as long as I can wear my robe of scintillating will, I'll, colors I'll, I'll, on top of that, I'll be fine. That uh, way, if anybody does attack me, I can flashbang them and run away. I mean... Uh, I will also uh, try on uh, the clothes that I retrieved to make sure that... Because uh, Celera is quite tall so i don't know if that will you're able to find one that fits your size uh it's general you will need to get it a okay. little bit adjusted to account for the gigantic wings uh but that should be a fairly simple fix oh, also i don't know who it is but i can hear somebody somebody might have their mic sensitivity up really high because i can hear you typing very loud as well as deep heavy i'm about to like go to town on a plate of nachos breathing mm. God. I've been hearing that. I think that's probably Doug. <laughs> uh, I can provide no, that service. It's not me. I'm not sure if it's Doug. I can provide oh! that hey. I mean, I yeah, can find me. out. You, you know what? I'll find out who it is and single Cameron. you out. The, 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 the typing might be me. The typing might be me. But not the breathing. Anyway, let's just continue. Uh... <laughs> So I'll, I'll have you know that I had the mic like a full inch down my mouth in my mouth when I was. Doing yeah, Thank you. I'm looking at it right now. It's not me right now. You won't be laughing when he kills you. The poo -poo man. <laughs> so, Sebastian, are you gonna buy the coat? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna buy the coat, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna ring it up. I'm not gonna try to bargain. Now, the, now bear in mind, the coat is not clothes. It is an overcoat. So. You Can would have over my armor, N not without adjustment. You'd have to pay and him I some extra to adjust adjustment. it. Then I'll get the adjustment, wear that, and the robe of scintillating colors. Boom, there we go. It's all oh. complete. Okay, so in order to get it adjusted, you would need to pay an additional three gold pieces. No, Done. two gold pieces. Done. Okay, gold. two gold pieces. All right. Uh, how about how about everybody that, else? After, oh, well, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Through... After, after I finished I... trying it on, I was going to head to the counter and uh, I suppose see about getting it refitted for the wings. Ah, yes. Uh, so we'll, we'll take care of that in a second. What did you say, Doug? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So I have two things I'm interested in currently for outfits. Okay. Uh, one, one one's just a tunic, and the other one's a uh, is a cloak, but. This is the tunic. Okay. Um, pretty fancy um, one. And then the cloak, it's a little bit warmish, but I mean, no warmer than that jacket that Sebastian was looking at. Okay. I would, I would. <laughs> oh, okay. And that's the other one I was. Yeah. Those... Okay. I had to find the thing for a cloak. Uh, but the tunic itself. Uh, being a very nice tunic is going to run you five silver pieces for the undershirt okay. and the cloak is if I can find it. Okay, I could probably cover the, the tunic easily. Mm. Uh, so. I, but like. 
should get Jamberman a normal sized. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go it. It's two two gold pieces for the cloak. I yeah okay okay I can, I can cover both of those. Okay. Oh so, shit! I have it, to buy something nice for Boga. Ooh. Okay, so two for that. <laughs> oh and god. How much was the tunic? Five silver pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. Being just one, uh, being just one thing of a whole. Okay, and then I'll just, I'll just wear my pants inside. I think they're good enough. I just gotta brush them off. My God, I'm going to wear my leather pants. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Uh. What you got? Is there something that looks like this that I could buy for Boga? Okay, hang on, let's check. Top Easy. hat included. Oh god. If it's a top wow, okay, hang on. We gotta we gotta see. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see. This is a full ass tux, essentially. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna three, make that the most six, dapper kobold you have ever seen in your life. Eight. Are you talking about like a cane too? Oh yeah, cane and everything. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like in total, it's going to be eight gold pieces and Done. five silver pieces. Done. Done. So, so you pull Done. out the, like a child's tuxedo, and you bring it up to the uh, up to the thing. It's at this it moment looks too. Like that. Uh, it looks like that with the top hat. Period. So Salira, so Salira, you are you pop you plop the two the uh the dress down and you're asking for like some help getting some stitching open for the wings and you back and the guy's like ah oh, yes I'd be happy to do that adjustment shouldn't be too hard I'll throw it in there with the price for free and then all of a sudden Sebastian comes barreling up to the counter with the cobalt in tow and just slaps down a child's tuxedo and he's like how much. <laughs> Uh, eight gold pieces, five silver pieces, and he's like, done. And he buys the tuxedo. Bogo looks very happy. Hell yeah, a dapper young lad. <laughs> so the guy takes the dress and he goes to make the adjustments. It takes him a few minutes with some uh, some tailoring scissors and some uh, sewing material. And he comes back and hands it off to you and exchanges it for the price. Oh no! What am I? What am I seeing? Oh, uh, oh just posting the outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so people can see. I figured that. Yeah, let them see. Okay. Uh, does anybody oh, else have any particular sorry. outfits they want to do, or, <laughs> or, or is this lunacy about to end? <laughs> this, this lunacy will continue oh as long as it fucking needs to, Dominic. <laughs> Oh my god, I need a fucking cape for the dog. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> well, I found oh I found god. the I found the cloak cost, so if you want to buy a cape for the dog. I am going to buy a red, like, velvet cape for my dog for this. Everyone looks fancy, okay? Three gold pieces. Fancy. Three gold Done. pieces for the cape. Done. <laughs> Boom. Say, girl, the super dog. Oh, well, he's God. got a horn at his head, and he'll crit you like a hog. <laughs> Just stick you, oh. stick you like a hog. That oh, yeah, that that I, sounds I, nastier than I, I meant it. Oh. Stick you like a hog does sound rather sexual if you think about it for a second. Twitch, I promise. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure Jin always looks fancy, right? Oh yeah, uh, I think so, right? Sort of. Uh, I probably wouldn't consider myself fancy enough to go meet an emperor or a king of a land, but I probably look much fancier than the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like flies swirling around like the party, uh, caked with salt Salera water. definitely didn't look very fancy considering she just came back from being shipwrecked for like a week. I can't freaking find a good image anywhere because all the freaking wizard dress robes are just Harry Potter things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Oh. You don't want to look like Professor Snape's flamboyant cousin? Yeah, I don't think so. Damn. <laughs> here's here here's my suggestion. 
Jamberman. I'm not Jamberman sure. buys I'm sure a brown sure. tunic and pants, like a brown dress tunic and pants, and a hat the, to match his gnome hat with just white laces so that he looks like a football. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's perfect. Good. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody gonna get a tricorn hat with like the super overly long red feather the red feather costs extra <laughs> well, I thought that was right up your alley me? okay <laughs> yes, how you. can I wear a hat you make a hole you poke holes in it and fit it right over the horns that's a good point hold <laughs> on I'm gonna go search for a tricorn hat <laughs> Oh, oh lord. Just force, like, don't even cut holes. Forcefully shove your horns through the hat. Oh my god. What in the. G okay, I searched tricorn hat in Google Images, and Google knows what I want. What the fuck is this? It's been collecting data on you for your entire no, life. No, no, of course no, no, it knows no, no, no. what you want. Look at this fucking hat. What <laughs> Hang on, let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh my God. That is some leatherworking <laughs> madness. That is like one of the first fucking. What oh the hell? No, God. that you can't find that in this shop. But no, I know. Hot damn! Oh, know. That'd be that's like a three. That's like a three hundred gold piece hat. Like like that's a that magic a item that you toss into the water and it turns into a fucking ship. Dude, that's how a fucking pirate shows dominance over other pirates <laughs> wearing that hat. You know what? Fuck it. We're not going to do the tricorn hat. I can't. I can't find one that looks good. They all are fucking shitty Walmart-esque <laughs> fucking <laughs> costume shit. I don't want any of that. Oh, and that one's just a tiny... You're not even trying, Google. Fuck you. I'll be back in one sec, guys. That's an obey okay. cap! Why? <laughs> We could put your we could put uh your dog in an obey cap. No, if no, the dog's gonna get the tricorn cap. Why not? Oh uh, god, okay. Sebastian, who came into this not wanting to spend any fucking money, is now buying like a hundred <laughs> extra fucking things. <laughs> he oh realized the value of fashion. <laughs> oh my but, god. Hey, who wanna fight? Hey, Jin makes a very valid point. We have to to fucking uh look good for the king that way he'll listen to us we have to at least look the part i haven't even been informed that we're going to a party with a king i don't think oh yeah no oh, yeah. no i think they just told, they just told you it was a party so <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. We, oh, we, we, we sort of... Solera, we're going to basically what is considered the king's birthday party <laughs> At least I think it's the king's birthday party. Better not say happy birthday, just <laughs> Oh, <laughs> man. Whatever it was. Happy birthday! Birthday's not for four more months. Gets executed. Happy <laughs> Tens Day! Okay. Okay, I can't find a, a good <sighs> tricorn hat. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. I'm eight months from now. Okay, I'm I'm done buying accessories. <laughs> okay, uh, does any so who's next? What what are, what do you guys want? Okay, well Jin's gonna walk up to the desk after the rest of this madness and go. <laughs> oh, from my experience, it's best to ask somebody who knows. Uh, the field of tailoring to ask what would you consider the best outfit you have to take to a a party in the emperor's palace oh you're looking for a real fancy party huh okay let me see hmm, for you for you so for pokes you your head out from behind a shelf the what <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you look like a bit of a fancy lad, don't you? Are you a fancy lad? Uh, I, I try to stay modest, but 
sometimes my upbringing comes through. Ooh, okay, I like that. Mm. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, for you, we get you a nice bow tie, as well as a good jerkin, and uh, some dress pants. What, is, what do you think with that? Bruh. I think he's You're the expert. No those kind of services here. <laughs> yeah. quite, quite tempting me to the dark side, Doug. I mean, I'm <laughs> so it I will be four GP and five SP for for uh, for those things. Okay. I think I finally found the design that I would be willing to wear. Okay, let's uh, let's see what Jamberman's fashion comes out to. I know, I know, but I can't. Very, wi very wizardy, very wizardy, and I, I enjoy this quite a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you could find something uh, to this degree. Let me see. Uh, the whole rogue getup would just be five gold pieces. Epic. Epic. Let's go with that. It even comes with the the sash slash whatever it is that's tied around there. I. God damn it! For the extra fanciness look. God damn it! Now I have uh... the sickest get up, dude. No, you see, if I had the hat listed above, if, if I you had the hat, it wouldn't be a contest. But, <laughs> yeah. but I don't have that hat. I need yeah, that hat. Yeah, that's right. Freaking suck it. it, dude. I have the epic <laughs> cloak. Uh, hey, I have a robe of scintillating colors. Suck my lizard dick. <laughs> I can change my that... robe's color. At will. What Isn't color? the whole point of it is that it looks really garish unless you're making it appear a certain way? It flashbangs people, Parker. <laughs> He's gonna flashbang yeah. the party. He's gonna get drunk and flashbang everyone. <laughs> that sounds oh like a Sebastian thing to do. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Let's see, this robe has three charges to engage. Oh, oh well. Use an action instead. One charge comes to carbon display, shifting pattern of dazzling hues until the end of your next turn. During this time, the rope sheds bright light in a 30 foot radius of dim light for an additional 30 feet. Creatures that can see it have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. In addition, any creature in bright light that can see you when the rope's power is activated must succeed a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or become stunned until the next until the effect ends. So I flashbang people. <laughs> Christ. Oh man. Alright, I'm ready for this party. <laughs> Uh, okay, so does anybody else have anything else that they want to buy or would be interested in buying? That. Not that I can think of. I'm good. I have no need of a hat. I look cool. <laughs> You're not even gonna wear your pointy hat? I will take it off specifically this <laughs> for this occasion just to, like, draw more attention to my fancy robes. Okay. I'm going to assume that I don't need to, like, specifically buy, like, shoes, or do I need to specifically buy shoes? I mean, you could buy shoes. I've got prices for shoes. Oh my god, buy the Well, now that you've said that, now I need to buy shoes. Three gold pieces for shoes. Do you want- you want clogs? I don't want clogs. No, Cameron. Sebastian, you want- Clogs! No, I said buy clogs. I, I, I don't oh. want clogs. I see. Uh, okay, oh, okay, I'm seeing that sandals no. are on this list. I don't wear shoes. Oh, so bad. I forgot. Yeah, Sebastian doesn't wear <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Big giant Wait, lizard does feet. He not wear shoes. Big giant lizard like, Because he's a dragonborn. Big giant lizard shoes. Alright, hang on. I have to fix my yeah, pants because they are go, go bunched look up. At my, uh, my reference. Ah. That, that's I, what can't, my... I guess I can't wear shoes that either, actually. I don't know. No, like, you could wear sandals. I could I could wear very specific shoes. Yeah, sandals, yeah, that would work. Okay. Sa same price for sandals if you want some Sebastian. good sandals. Now, <laughs> admiring what do what fancy is sandals look like? Uh, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a fancy sandal in my life, and I've seen a lot of sandals <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna Google fancy sandals. Google. Google. <laughs> yeah, so Go hey, Google, show me fancy sandals. 
Oh my god, Roman sandals. Jesus. Oh, they're all women's sandals. Oh, what? No love for the guys? Metal sandals. That sounds very comfortable. Protective oh, metal sandals exist. Fish that sounds... slippers. No, no, <laughs> man. That is the... <laughs> sounds like the least comfortable thing ever. No, you gotta buy this. This is right, what you on. get to go to a palace at go to a fucking party at the palace, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fantastic. All right, is the mouth where your foot goes, or is the mouth where your toes stick out? <laughs> the mouth oh. is where your toes stick out. <laughs> Can I get those in like black and blue? Thank God. <laughs> Fuck it, windy. Sorry, I think I, I think you guys cut out for a second for me. Did it? Can I get those in black and blue that I just posted? Sure. I'm not the DM. I don't know why I'm I asking answered. you, <laughs> dumbass. Hang on, hang on. I'll see in just a second. Get those. Yes, <laughs> yes. You you can find one of those three gold three gold pieces for a pair. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Those are some sick sandals. Those are some great sandals. <sighs> okay, then oh I my. then I buy the sandals as well. All right, all right, very cool. <laughs> no, no. You guys, guys, no. please no. calm yourselves. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Back down there. Okay. Last Back one. Down there. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> How much does the fancy dress and the fancy sandals weigh? Uh, that's a good question. Um, does my thing list a weight? Connor's clothes are three pounds, so. Uh, it doesn't show weight, so I'm gonna just say that your entire getups weigh the same as fine clothes. Okay, so like include the dress and the shoes. Yeah, fine. Or well, yeah, fine clothes. It should be six pounds. Oh, how much for these? Okay, so I'll say the fancy dress is four <laughs> pounds, and the fancy sandals are two pounds. I still think that the sh that the uh, fish shoes are the best ones. No, the, the no the fish shoes are absolutely the best ones. They are. Like no, I gotta be very I'm, careful with how much I pick up because I am dangerously close to my fucking. Like, I may have a contender. <laughs> nah, the fish shoes are the fish, still the oh, fish is better, but I do very much enjoy those lobster sandals. <laughs> I like how, by the way, because I'm too afraid to show <laughs> these images, slippers um, and lobster sandals. Twitch chat and Twitch do not get to see the absolute lunacy. Just Google fish sandals. If you're watching this why, now why or in post, pictures? because I'm not afraid, I'm lazy. I would have to download each of the oh. images in order to properly show them. Um, just. You can't just like dudes. My dudes, just Google, Google fish sandals. Just Google fish sandals, and you I will be Googled, happy. Googled cursed sandals. <laughs> oh, even better. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna stop this derailment, but I am gonna see whatever it is, okay, Cameron. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Wow, that okay. One, that one might be better. Where your fish is very kinky. Oh my god. Okay, alright, so with with that all uh done and done, has everybody got everything they want? Yep. Okay. I think so. I need to breathe. Holy fuck. <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I have recovered. I think before Jin leaves, I'm gonna cast detect magic. And see if there's anything I might want to pick up after that. De detect magic. Also, I have finally determined who the who the nacho dude is, and it is Doug. Wait, what? We can. I can hear. I can hear you breathing, my gamer. Which is weird. I'm not breathing though. It, it's not showing up for me. It's not, it doesn't show up though. You're not breathing. That's so That's weird. No. no, Parker. No. Because I, I can. I can hear the breathing as well. Oh my Blood. god. Do not Blood. fuck the sandals. Blood. <laughs> Why Blood. not? Why not? Blood. Somebody tell Blood. him. Blood. I mean, All right, hang on. Seen. No, I just got derailed. Who? What were we going to do? <laughs> magic, magic shit. Okay. I, magic I shit, yes? I was detecting magic, casting detect magic, and just wandering through the store, see if I find anything 
of interest. Mm. One second. Oh my god, I could pretend to be both. That's right, I shouldn't have anything on right now. Oh, you know what? Since I since since I have light armor, can my can I can my shit just fit over my armor? Uh, I I'd probably get away with that. Yes. Better than me. Okay, hang on, one. Okay. God, I yeah, the internet is cutting. Cameron, are you having problems? Because up here the the Discord call keeps cutting out for me. No, I'm not having any problems. Hmm. So, so as you're as you're going uh yeah, the through Starlink. the as you're going through the aisles, uh, Jen, and looking through things that it, it I have that right. It's Jen, right? You are you're going through. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yes. I'm having an aneurysm. Jen, you're walking through the aisles and you're kind of checking everything out. And in an actual bargain bin, there is a tattered old coin purse that is sitting at the bottom of the bin. That's setting off your detect magic alarms. Okay. Well, dig it out and ask him how much he wants for it. Okay, one second. I need I need two fucking seconds to figure that out, because I did not. Ha I, I I'm I'm playing the <laughs> I'm playing a fun game right now uh, of come up with shit on the fly. It's okay. I just wanted to use one of my new abilities, which lets me cast detect magic at will. So that seems fair and balanced. Well, hey, D &D by nature is I give up most of my spell slots so I can do stuff like that. Uh, fair point. I only have like four mm. or when I get okay. to level 20, so I get to have some spells that I'm like, ah, use. <laughs> All right, okay, so, so you... I'm kind of so hopefully that'll um, get rid of that. So you, you make your way over to the, the counter with the old-looking coin purse, and uh, you pop it down, and the guy's like, Oh, you're looking to buy that little beauty, huh? Had to toss it in the box because nobody was going to buy it. Uh, that'll, that, that'll run you two gold pieces. It's cursed. Oh. In the bargain bin? I'll give him two gold pieces. And you buy a you buy the old coin purse from the man. I need to delete these sandal images. Yay, so old coin purse again. Next question: What type of magic does my detect magic sense on that? Transmutation. Okay. Uh. I mean, if because you that's want, all the can, more information I can oh. gather from it without, you know, giving can, it to somebody I can, else. <laughs> I can get more information from it. Yeah, but for now, I'm just gonna buy it and wander off. <laughs> Move on with the rest of our day. Discussing a plan. If I can't go into that party wearing my armor as a guest, I will go in as a bodyguard to the dapperest kobold on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I don't need a sword to protect myself. I've got my dukes. <laughs> Your daisy dukes? My daisy dukes. What are you talking about? You have a freaking breath weapon. That, well... See, in a crowded area, I can't use my breath weapon. That's okay. I have lightning. That's true. I also have spectral swords. And, uh... I also have that. Yeah. Oh, Daisy Dukes are pants? I thought they were shoes. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> our pants. Why, why did I just now think of Sebastian wearing skinny jeans? <laughs> God. It's literally it's literally jorts. Daisy Dukes are jorts. <laughs> yes, Next extremely thing. low cut jorts. Sebastian Sebastian protects his kobold by, by, by ass slamming villains with his jorts. <laughs> it was literally the most extreme piece of clothing that they could get away with on television at the time. True. Anyway. Back to the game. I know I was the one that threw us off track, but I'm going to put us back on track. 
Are you okay. sure about that? Maybe. We'll see, we'll I'm see not, this. I'm not sure. That's a good question, Parker. <laughs> I'm gonna sit back in my chair. I'm gonna watch this happen. Okay. Sorry. There you go. There's your old coin purse. I think that should have popped up. <laughs> there you are. Fancy, fancy. Dukes make some mango. Woo, woo. I don't know any of the other words, so that's all. Thanks. The party is this anybody? in how many days again? So, from now, the party is going to be happening on the 25th. It's the 16th, so you have about nine days left. Yeah. You guys know that the statuette will be done on the 21st. Okay, the morning so of the 21st. That means we got three days to burn. So, we could do some investigating into the sandworms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, even, maybe during the I have no longer... input on this because I don't know what the fuck's been going on. So basically we've anyway. discovered we've discovered two massive bandit organizations called the Sandworms and what was it? The Crag Sharks, I think. Right? Uh -huh. oh. You know, I, I also just remembered we should probably at the very what? least get back to get get to a nearby guard so I can give them my uh ribbon. You guys could yeah, certainly I, I do just so. a character because I, I know about the I know about the shit uh like in real life. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're basically generally. attempting to find the location of the sandworms. We know the location of the crag shark. But we need to find the location of the sandworms. Now y you know the location of the sandworms as well. Mm -hmm. Do we? The main <laughs> base, anyway. Crack sharks. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We could but have can I just have a the crack quick comment, real quick. Sure. I was gonna say, sandworms, crack sharks. I've never heard of these strange creatures. What do they look like? <laughs> Bad. They are fucked up. Oh, bandit Man. gangs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. we could now that we have an extra joy. an extra head, we could assault the crag sharks. <laughs> we could just full on assault the crag sharks. True. Isn't that a little bit out of our way though? True, but we have ten days. Also, not quite the that is true. assaulting type. Well, you're about to learn to become not only... the assaulting type. <laughs> <coughs> too, too bad you opted into this party. party. You, you can't bring me back out. out in a casket. <laughs> uh, you see, I may come out of there in a casket, so that means I cannot. Uh, well. Either way, whatever we decide to do, we do need to go find a guardsman who has, who is a magic user who can use this ribbon. You could go find the guardhouse uh, that you guys were in before. That would be something that yeah. you could do. Yeah. We so could also. Way... Yeah. Good. We could also pick up some small local jobs rather than run clear across the desert to assault a bandit camp then running back I also have an idea for when that eventually comes to pass I did make good friends with the I think what was a royal guard captain back when we fought off those thieves I could literally tell him where the crag sharks are and then he can help us assault the place yes uh, that we could do as well. I'm just looking for something to kill. Royal guard captain at our done. side certainly wouldn't make things more difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. So, so in all right. Sorry, keep, sorry. Go ahead and keep on discussing. I I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. Well, there was no real interruption. I think at this point yeah. we just need to figure out what to do to kill literally 10 days of time. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, we could literally just say we sit and wait 10 days, but that's <laughs> boring. Yeah. Hmm. Well, more well then. Time's always time to do some research. Shall we murder some sandworms? At least for me. <laughs> murder some sand. Well, okay, so we said that we know where the sandworms base is, right? Mm -hmm. Where Where we could is do that? Just scouting at least. You you uh, can see the place on your map. It's ooh, to the oh. north, the northwest. Hmm, that's definitely closer than the crag sharks. We could assault their base. Now, now, do remember that when this guy just divulged the location, this is the main base he did mention. So you can expect <laughs> there to be a very large fighting force at this location. But we can also mm -hmm. gather our own fighting force as well, because well, I can ask the royal guard captain to bring soldiers. Yeah, but well, we're not sure if they will come, especially if they're gearing up for the party. We also know that they don't like each other too, which we can use that as a fun little advantage for us if we can somehow get them to fight each other, hit them while they're distracted. Maybe. Because we've established that the sandworms are not at all, like, an actual resistance. They are just straight-up thieves. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I have no problem wiping them out. They're just really clever and really smart when it comes to it, compared to the Craig Sharks. Yeah. Also, by your descriptions that you guys have gathered, very well equipped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So both of these groups are just feet petty, or not petty, but like just thieves, right? They're they're huge bandit groups that legitimately control territory. Right. Well, yeah. Um, we took out Man, one. Do either of the outpost. do either of them know where the other's main base is? No, I don't think so. I mean, their rivalry because is maybe so Maybe it would be possible if like... we could. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, maybe if we could assault one of the other's outposts, like, find an outpost and assault it, we could, quote, like, quote-unquote, kidnap one of the thieves and basically uh, get them to deliver a message about, like, alerting one to the other's location. True. That would cause... And that would probably at least wipe one of them out. Hmm. But could we accomplish this in 10 days? Probably well, I mean, not. All we would fully? have to do is assault an outpost and write a letter. Uh, the rest of it would probably take care of itself. At least up to a point. Just a thought. <laughs> but would an underhanded tactic be good for our reputation? That's the thing. I mean, I mean, if it gets rid of the bandits, I think the majority of the people in the in the cities will probably appreciate it. True. And currently, assuming obviously that uh, Salira is directly propo proposing this idea, uh, at this moment she has no fucking idea how much of a reputation any of them even have. Our reputation is literally heroes, people that are willing to help wherever and whenever possible even without payment i think and, i mean maybe there would be some detractors but i think most people would be pretty happy about wiping getting an entire bandit encampment completely wiped out whether or not it was done slightly underhandedly like maybe if we like i don't know tied them all up and slowly re roasted them one by one over an open fire Maybe they'd be a bit upset, but even then, you know, you never know. Well, it People are. Isn't averse to that kind of execution. <laughs> so the plan then: mm. do we do something about one of the bandit groups now, or do we just just wait out the time? And if we do do I one, which one do which one do you want to take? Up, but... If we do take out one, who do we want to take out? I mean, if we take out the sand wardens, that would be probably the best ideal because 
They're smart. They're intelligent. They would put up the heaviest fight, and if anything happens to the Craig Sharks, they will probably know about it faster than the Craig Sharks would. That's true. And plus, we know that the well, Craig also, Sharks well, are a bunch of basically idiots, and yeah. they're more. They're also, way with what more uh, I said, um, if if they were pitted against each other, it wouldn't just hurt one or the other. It would possibly wipe out one and severely damage the other. Yeah, and if we also get the Royal Guard, if we also can get some guards out there as well. In oh this yeah, fight. like that, and yeah. alert the guards as to one or both of their bases, then that would maybe not maybe not like super super high chance, but theoretically could possibly wipe out the entire problem without uh, anyone actually having to get hurt. Well, other than Obviously, any of us well, having to get hurt. The thing is, is we want to be directly involved in the attack because we need to have a hugely good reputation because we need our words to carry weight. Well, and he also well, doesn't understand what man, we're we could doing we here. could still do that plan and be directly involved, but I don't know because I don't know how long that would take. So that might have to wait until after this party if. If we have to, thing is, sandworms. Or... How about I we? Here, the here's an idea. Would fall for that. Maybe the crag sharks. Here's an idea. Oh, then we could send one. Two, instead of could... trying to wipe them out before the party, instead of just trying to wipe them out all before the party, we can save that for afterwards and just do some scouting for now. Maybe check on nearby outposts to see if we can get a, a staging base set up so we can get yeah, ready I like nearby. That. I like that better. I mean, I, we only yeah, have you know, like, yeah. yeah, that's a good plan. And like I was, yeah. and like I was uh, saying, um, it wouldn't really particularly matter. Like, if the sandworms were too smart to fall for something like that, the same effect would be achieved by just doing the trickery to the crag to the crag sharks, and then they go, and then the fighting would still start anyway. So either way, yeah. if one of them falls for it, that's the ideal. Because obviously we wouldn't want both of them to fall for it, because then they'd go to each other's empty bases. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll save the oh yeah 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 we'll, we'll save the assault till after the party. Then after the party, we'll um, come up with a plan. We'll do scouting first. So we're gonna scout the sandworms first, I think, because that they're closer and yeah. I mean that sounds like a good plan. Well. First thing first, we gotta get this um, ribbon to a proper authority. Yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so for right now, you guys are gonna go find the guardhouse that you went to before, and you're going to get the ribbon for, uh, that shows the leader of the uh, the sandworms to the guard. Correct? Yep. Okay. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. All right, so you guys make your way over to the guardhouse, and the guardhouse seems, you know, relatively busy as usual. Uh, there are a couple of guards coming in and out as you guys are approaching. Um, and yeah, so you guys manage to park your uh, your carriage and such outside. I guess I'll walk up to the front desk and place the ribbon on there. Um, okay. Asking. So, do you have any do you have any magical users that can take a look at this? Huh? At what? Sorry. Ma magical users. Uh. Hmm. I I don't know if I have any magical users. Uh. With with me. Uh. Let let let's see. Uh. Do you mind telling me what this is? I'll I'll start making a report. Is this like some kind of uh something? This... You can... This is the identity of the Sandworms leader. The, 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 the what? Yes, it has it within it. I promise you this. I actually tap the mic. I promise you it has the, the, the face there. It's just, uh, I need to find someone who can access it. You should ask for um, a head of information that knows the, whatever the memory spell is, so he can look at it. Well, uh, all, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll let, let's go back. Let's go back into the godhouse and let's see if there's anybody who, who knows. Come, come with me. And he picks up his paper and he like gets up and motions for you, Kunj, to follow. Yeah, I follow. 
Okay, wonderful. Uh, so you make your way out into the... Uh, or excuse me, not out into. Uh, into the back. And the guard kind of takes some time. And he starts asking around. And he's like, hi, uh, do, you, do, do any of you lads know magic? Any, anyone at all? No? So he takes, he takes some time and some time and some time and some time. And then finally, Wait. you guys... Sorry, go ahead. We'd likely be looking for the head of intelligence and whoever runs the spy networks. They would probably have somebody with the right magical talents. Uh, well, Kunj and the guardsmen who are going through the building together, um, the guardsman is just trying to find somebody in the guardhouse who is there. Um, there hasn't been any asking specifically about the spy house. And... Uh, He's just trying to see if there's anybody in here who has some kind of magical talent. You know for a fact that up in Scales, the head of intelligence for the guardship, the military, they have somebody who can read it, and they had read it before. But uh, the in this town, there isn't there there may not be uh, a place with a spy ship. You guys aren't entirely sure. Um, I guess I'll ask him. At least not after, officially. After... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him, I guess, because Kunj um, has a little bit of high intelligence. Uh, so, um, would there be a uh, spy network anywhere nearby? Maybe that could be a lot more fast. In, You'd be in, looking for a connection. In, in Helm's Folly, uh, no. All, all of those important buildings are up in scales. Uh, the best we have is a, for a spy network would be asking around with uh, some of the merchants who, who hear things. We're not exactly as uh, well-equipped as our better city. And so what he does is he takes you, Kunj, uh, into one of the last rooms. Is like, hey, uh, is there any oh, and there is uh, somebody who is sitting at a table. Uh, looks to be a tallish elf. He's currently working on some papers in this back room. And he says, uh, hey, you there. You, uh, you adept with magic? And the elf looks up. He says, hmm? Oh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm a bit adept at magic. What, what do we have here? And the guard kind of, like, gestures you up. Uh, this one uh, has some kind of uh, weird ethereal ribbon thing. And I, I dangle it in, fr My in front of the show right back. and hand it to him. It has the face of the leader of the sand sandworms. Ah, the face of the leader of the sandworms. Okay, got it. Uh, hey, uh, front man, give us a few minutes and I'll go through this with this man. Um, be sure to get ready for the report. I'll bring it out. And the guard's like, yeah, I will, I, I will go ahead and do that. And he kind of leaves the room and he leaves you alone with the elf to begin. He's like, go ahead, set it on the table. Yep, I do that real quick and set it on the table. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you may have to scroll down to actually see the area there. This little table. Uh, give me a second. I okay, there we go. Okay, I see it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, oh, hang on. Let me get you. Oh, I'll get you out there. You should be able to control the token, I believe. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. There you are. Uh, oh shoot! I'm I I keep forgetting that I don't have a generalized token. Uh, I'm just gonna use something here. Grabs a goblin. Evil. <laughs> uh, that's not right. I think I accidentally just drug the commoner stat block out. <laughs> Whoopsies! How how the fuck? Is, how do you do? How do you do things? Uh, very carefully. Why? With great vigor. You gotta, you gotta love like what roll twenty, fuck? and trying to figure out how to. What the fuck was that noise? What, what the fuck was what noise? Anyone who heard that just now? What? It sounds like a fucking demon screeching in my ear. <laughs> oh, you're about to get murdered, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, oh, that's that's the sound. Gosh, gosh darn it! All right, we're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use something basic. Give give me two seconds. I, I swear I have a token. I have a token somewhere in my files basic. for this. Basic like a pumpkin latte. Oh my god! Please. Do you think you could I shut could. your fucking mouth? What? You what know what? You know what? Don't pretend. What? What did I do? 
you existed. Um, yeah. well, while you're looking for that, I'm going to slowly make my way towards the back door of the guardhouse. Yeah. Kind of try and peer into the back door. Okay. Oh, hey, wait, it did, yeah, it did drop a, a token in there. I can see it. What the fuck? It, the, uh, our bard has to like, document everything that goes on. Okay. Everything. So, uh, let's see. One second. Y'all think you're funny, don't you? Oh god, what are you two doing? Are you guys just pinging? Yeah. <laughs> Two. Okay. So it's Kunj, lagging the site. It's lagging the site. So Kunj, okay. you set the ribbon on the table, and from behind you, you hear the guard. You know, shut the door. Uh, what's your percept? Give me a perception check, real quick. Uh, give me a second. Good thing I got plus five. Let's see how that was. Great, beautiful, wonderful. So, uh, after you hear the door shut, you kind of cast your, uh, your gaze behind you, and you quickly catch a glimpse of a metal gleam as it's heading towards your face, with enough speed to quickly duck out of the way. A sharp dagger stabs itself into the table right next to the ribbon that you were just about to show him. Do me a favor, Coons, well, and yeah. roll initiative. Okay, I guess I'll roll initiative. Um, I have my, I have my bard next or uh, here, so I'm not completely alone. Um, I'm on initiative. Uh, uh, just a stupid thing. Why won't it? Okay, oh, give me a second. There it is. Where there? Initiative. Click. Wow. Just. Okay, uh... And so, Ocularis, thanks to you, uh, I want you to roll initiative as well. Uh, okay. Okay. So, you've been... But I, I don't remember if uh, the roll 20 chat shows up on stream. Uh, I don't think it does. Let me check. No. no. Uh, I'm realizing... Alright, very, very, very good. Uh, so... Uh, one second, one second. Sorry, I'm trying to get this set up here. To, to, to focus on the game at hand, the bard is gonna be my savior right now. Oh, I'm about to alert the whole world that something untort is going on in here. Okay. I... Uh, let's see. I apologize if you're hit by flying furniture. God. Just don't, don't hit the ribbon. Just leave the ribbon alive. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then... Okay. So, just a second. I think it's because of the stream. My internet is being very slow. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Got it. Okay. Add add turn. Damn it. Okay. All all right. So. Uh, all right, hearing hearing the sound of metal hitting wood, Ocularis, you're standing in the guardhouse, and you have the first move as you're standing outside of the door. What do you do? I want to cast Shatter on the door. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, this, okay. This is loud enough. Is that loud enough for everyone to hear? Uh, oh yeah. Let me let me let me check just to make really? sure. Like three city blocks, hear me blow up this door. We're oh, all God. right outside the, the guardhouse so, waiting for them. So yeah, 
Ocularis, yeah, you guys were outside of the back door. Ocularis slipped in the back door because he saw something via his ex insanely amazing passive perception. The bar, the bar, the, I just need the bard to distract this man for me real quick while I protect our only lead towards the, the evil. Well, I'm not just going to distract him. I'm going to open this door up with some force. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So wait, are you casting? Are you casting it like in the ten foot cube, like around the door? Yep. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> hold, 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 hold your horses. I need, I need two seconds here. Okay. No, Cause I don't know where anyone's name. positioned. I just want this door open and everyone to know something's going on in this room. I, oh my I god, will you guys know. stop typing boggers in the chat? It's fuck! <laughs> I, 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 I'm I, not I'm currently <laughs> causing lag on the Twitch site. chat. You can't see this, but the <laughs> chat in Roll Twenty is awful. It's awful. You are glad that you don't see this. I roll the. D20 got a 19 type pogger, then the flurry pogger, 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 pot, pack. Everything, pogger, I hate all of poggers, you. I'm gonna pog. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry, my pussy is so pogger. So. Okay, uh, he, yeah, okay, so it rolls a six. Roll me some, roll me some shatter damage as the door, the door bursts. Question, Dominic? Ooh. What? What's up? If as he casts this, is this loud enough for Yes, Sebastian and everyone on the cart, as well as an entire city fucking block, can hear this. The <laughs> shatter just decimates the door, and you hear the person, the elf in the room, scream, Ah! And pretty much everybody is jolted okay. at this. <laughs> would it be reasonable that I would draw my weapon and begin running into the building. Uh, hang Ditto. on, I I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal stuff just in a in a building ish way. So give me a second. A building ish way. Shut up, shut up, gamer. <laughs> uh, be a reasonable thing that I would I would do. I'm gonna kill all of you. Uh, yes, so everybody else can now roll initiative, but this turn is going to play out first. Ocularis, what else are you going to do? That's it. I'm shattering the door and seeing what's going on inside. Okay, all right. So... Just keep his, keep, keep his attention on you. Oop. Well, it should be. be. I just Kool-Aid man the door, so... Okay, so these, <laughs> these are all guards. Oh, yeah. I'm not... Anything and hey, guess what? The guard, the guards over here have a purple desk. Would you look at that? <laughs> because I'm lazy. Okay. Uh. All right. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep that in. Wait. You got 21 for initiative. Hang on. Uh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. First peppers. I just need. I need two. I need two fucking seconds. Uh, okay. Let me know if you just want me to roll in the roll 20. I. Rolling in the roll twenty. Rolling in the roll twenty is fine. It's not required. Nobody has been required to do it. Okay. Uh, so Sebastian has a ten. One second. I, I like I like hearing the. Understandable. It's just more convenient for us. <laughs> Even though these red metal dice have been horrors to me the last few times I've used them, I still love them. I forgot to finish. I got up three the thing. sixes in a row last time I rolled these dice on 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 this d20. Okay, uh, turn. Jamberman got a fifteen. Yes. I demand Dusty have to roll off. Uh, yes, you two will have to roll off, or you don't have to roll off. You can choose which one of you wants to go first. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. So you can roll no, off or go choose. First. Uh, Either on. way, I, the I, first I, turn's I gonna be getting to go into first. the building. <laughs> yeah, hang on just a second. Uh, uh, Jen. Uh, I mean, there's Jen. Roll twenty. Go first or what? Or hang on, twenty-one. So Jen, do you want to go first or does? Uh... The silly or want to go first. I'm fine either way. I think I can go first. Okay. I don't care. I'm gonna hit my first move is gonna be entering the building. <laughs> I don't know why I removed everybody's fucking initiative turns well, I mean, from the yeah, turn order. But, I mean, the initiative after initially. that is still going to be counting. 
Yeah. I just realized the dog has more HP than Boga. <laughs> does the dog still the dog have, have more HP than, than me? The dog uh, is Pog. The, no, no, the dog does not have more <laughs> HP than any of the actual party members. How much? Uh, how much yeah. HP is the dog? Cameron, roll me, roll me, uh, or no, and it, dog goes with you. That's right. Uh, hang on, I gotta roll. I gotta roll. Uh, <laughs> I gotta roll for Monshore. No, I gotta roll for Monshore Boga. Hold on. Oh. recovering after this. But my be my royal pup betrayal. joins the fight, and since I have a uh, since it's my turn up next, he's definitely Boga got a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Boga, Boga is the the most poggers. All right, I think that's I think Boga, that's everyone. Boga, Boga. All right, so, uh, Ocularis, is Can that I your whole turn? Turn order thing is so yes. long. My whole turn yeah, is I... blowing up a door. <laughs> okay. Get on the list. Uh, so moving on to finish this first turn, it is this uh is the elf's turn. The elf, just surprised by the shatter, turns for a moment to look, but then it turns itself back. He immediately launches into a quick multi-attack, drawing a second dagger. Uh, let's see. I gotta, I gotta fucking roll. It's a... Okay. Okay. Oh wow, both of those are gonna hit you each one. Dang. Man's man's rolled the same thing twice. <laughs> so you're going to take twelve damage from a quick flurry of uh short sword strikes. Uh, in total there, as one of them just kind of, like, gets you right across the chest, and the other one gets your arm for a bit less damage. Uh, and that's gonna bring you down to 99, I believe. Wait, me? Yes, yes, you, Doug. He He's targeting the guy that, like, he's ignoring the, the guy that just busted in and targeting yes. the guy. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> I did wow. not expect that either. <laughs> he, all right, and I'm so this is the is the sand shark. He, uh, let's see, let me check one oh. thing. Oh, so someone was um, asking for a spy. We got a spy. Yep, that's true. Uh, <laughs> the the old bunny bard. So he quickly takes a sidestep to you right here to put a little bit of distance between himself and the door. Uh, but that's gonna be his turn. Kunj, it's your turn. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab the ribbon real quick, and I'm gonna quickly... What the... I'm gonna use with an action real quick to make a copy of it, just to be on the safe side. With, them um, casting the ribbon spell again on the thing, to make two versions of it. Uh, and I'm gonna okay. The... <clears throat> and then I am just gonna casually... Hmm. Can't really do anything else right now besides uh oh. the real thing that for ahead uh Don, <laughs> it's like I, I just can't see the map. Hmm. You can't no yeah. you may need to scroll, Cam. Yeah, it's towards the bottom half. It's just a tiny map. It, it's the tiny I'm part gonna... of the map because I'm using a larger part of my battle grid. Uh I still can't see it. I'm gonna refresh. I'm gonna embrace the inner rogue in me and probably um do it. Use my disengage. Um, okay. To get the get the fuck out of here real quick. Hey, where where are you running to? Uh, um, hold on. I'm just um, the screen. Uh, Wait, okay, I think I'm gonna. Have, does he have the ribbon? I I made two copies of them. Okay. We are still in possession of the ribbon. Okay. Yeah. I mean, two copies just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to get behind our bard if I can, or get us close behind Muzz again. Uh, yeah, and you're disengaging, so you get right behind Ocularis? Yep, I'm moving yeah. right there. You should be able to move your token, too. Let me know if you can. Yeah, 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 yeah I can. I just, uh, you, you sounded like you were doing it for me, so I just let you... No, no, yeah, I'm not, no, move your token <laughs> if you want to. I just modified your okay, HP yeah, yeah. to make sure that it showed up. Okay. Uh, okay. uh, all right, so that's the end of your turn? Yep, I am a coward. 
All right. So, Jen, you're the first one to bust into the door hearing the loud noises. The guards are picking themselves up hearing the loud shatter and like, Hey, what's going on? Coming in to see who needs help. You can't see anything from here. You might have to relocate. Uh, let's see. Sure. I guess I could have probably asked that. how far I can actually move. That, that was looks sick. good. I'll just slide to the corner. You slide on over to the corner, and you you see uh, to the left. Kunj, and Kunj kind of like bracing himself behind Ocularis, who is covered in the splinters of a door. Uh, he does not seem bothered by it. He's like brushing pieces of door off of himself. And they're breathing quite heavily. You can see that they seem to be in a bit of a bit of trouble. Okay. Take the awesome. dash action to move again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. There's the door. Is dash action my way another, what, 30? 30 feet. Yeah. Just to move further down the hallway here. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Alright. Salira, you are the next one to bust into the room. Whoops, let me, let me add some HP to your token here real quick. Uh, you have a total of 96, if I have that right. Yes? 96 uh, so much HP. Visible yep. to everyone. Player permission. See edit. Bam. That should be that should be all fixed up now. I'm gonna quickly I'm gonna quickly add your token. Also, wait. I I need to make sure that you're set to show in everybody's journals. Remove that. Eh. Eh. There we go. All set. All right, so you bust into the room in front of the purple guard desk, and you can see Jen, who is frantically moving down the hallway. All right, well, I'm just assuming that's where the source, or where the problem is, uh, she's going to move there. Now, um, forgive me, I'm sure this is a very dumb question, but how exactly, I've never actually done dash before does it just make let you move 30 feet again? you take an action yeah. to move 30 Instead additional of, feet yeah you yeah. you move twice so you don't get to attack okay oh wait so yeah you can't run through uh, the table you would have so to run like, at it, least five oh, right, feet right, right, to right, the left course. i mean i could let you make an acrobatics so, yeah, check to be... check to leap over the table badassery uh, i mean <laughs> You just do a vault. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just move ten feet yeah. first, and then move so a second time to see how far it is, so you can draw a barrel twice. Yeah, I, yeah, I could. Well, let me see. So I would just have to move to this square. I think, yeah. Like this one here. And be. And then. Yeah, you could reasonably scoot around the table yeah, at that yeah, point. Okay, so... All right. All right. Fine. <laughs> so no, I'll, no, I'll no, move to no. here, and then <laughs> run up here and. Well, see the door being blocked by two bodies. Yeah, they they are they are there, uh, and again, once they but they I seem to be now. in a bit of trouble. Okay. All right, well, What's going on in there? Anime rules. Anime rules. <laughs> Ocularis okay. is not paying attention. He's just. <laughs> Ready to go kill a man. <laughs> you just are giving this right, man a death very stare. Very <laughs> Yep. Well, and is that is that all you got, Salira? Uh, I will actually. I'll, I'll uh, respond to Sir Salira. Yeah, I'm by saying now, I so I'll say so because. Okay. I, I can I give them proper response as well. Uh, um, uh, I think these are not guards. I think. All right. Boga is the next one to move. He heads into the room, and he he is, like, screaming his paladin screech, and he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and he's going to take a dash. I'm coming to help! 
35, 40, 45, 50, 55. He dashes past you to see what's going on in the room, and there's this guy. And he's like, I will help Bar from this room! And he just kind of, like, takes... He'll take he'll take a seat right here. Right in front of you. <laughs> Ocularis, you're up. <laughs> Sit down. Okay, I'm going to just move over the little guy. <laughs> you just step over him, like... <laughs> and... Let's see if it actually wants to do this right. I'm going to try and stab... Does a 12 okay, hit? Okay, a 12 does not hit. As you move your rapier in towards him, he quickly deftly dodges out of the way, and the tip of your rapier bounces off of a piece of his studded leather, and he avoids the attack. Uh, got anything else? Nope, that's my turn. Okay, uh, just a second. You are... All right, Jabberman, you pop into the room at the door. Gaming. So I gotta move at least ten feet here. And after I have done so, probably take the rest of my turn to get to, say, here. Okay. Got them short little gnome legs, so I only get to move 50. Got it. All right, it's the guard's turn. They gather themselves up in 5, 10. Uh, they're going to they're gonna gather up behind you because you guys are kind of blocking the hallway a little bit. And so now there's a big clog uh, in this area here. The assailant, it is now his turn. He... Completely after dodging your attack, Ocularis, he steps behind you, and you're going to get an attack of opportunity as he's going to use a bonus action to tumble through Boga's space. Boga is going to make a dex an acrobatics check, which is just going to be his dexterity because he's not proficient. Uh, if, 15. if he's trying to run, he's about to be in for a very poor no, surprise. He, he's, he's not running. He, I know what he's trying to do. Bro, he wants me. Oops. Oh yeah, so he quickly Bro. gets out of, out of that uh, through Boga's space, and he's gonna make an attack action at you. Uh, so Ocularis, uh, was that Does your my twenty-four hit? Yeah, your twenty-four will hit. He's gonna take six damage. It looks like. Um, I'm using a feature, so okay. I get to add two d six to that. Oh wow. Okay, so psychic uh... damage. 2d6 so. psychic damage, an additional 11 damage. Wow. You, as he gets out of the way, you immediately shoot your rapier into his back, and you hear an ah! But then you see him with great skill. He rolls over Boga, and Boga's like, ah! And he turns around to, to face him, and he attempts to drive his short swords into, uh, into Kunj. Okay, yep, so he's going to make nice. he's going to make two attacks. Those are both 14. They are going to miss. And yep. he is immediately going to try to uh no, he actually is going to keep his he's going to keep where he is and he's going to he is harrying you down with a flurry of blows. Uh Sebastian, you pop into the room. Easy. 5, 10, 15, Misty Step, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, you can make right it one. Here. <laughs> and then the I'm going, literally, <laughs> since I can't draw my sword, I'm going to grapple him and attempt to pile drive him next turn onto the ground. Okay, make me an attack roll unarmed. You aren't proficient, though, so you don't get to add your prof bond. I think grapple is just a contest roll directly. No, nah, he has to make an attack based on the grapple rules. You have to hit an okay. unarmed strike, and then it... And then it's a contest. Oh! oh All right, so he's oh, going to have disadvantage. Uh, You can do... I think you could do unarmed damage as part of a grapple check, I think. I mean, let me check. Let me check. Let me let me check the well, logs. Well, if that's the case, if that's the case, I do five... Uh, I do six bludgeoning damage to him as I grab him and I'm gonna pile drive him. Attacks. 
Oh, if you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action, Stone. this attack replaces one of them. So you could just smack him, and then yep. uh, you're, basically you're going to grab him and then pile drive him. We'll count it as that. Yep. So you can you make a separate know that attack move roll. Where you grab them from behind and then bend over and slam them onto the ground. Oh my that's, God. that's just what I'm fucking, doing. You just like freaking okay. I just want to see you like freaking pop into existence and then suplex him. Okay, so make exactly make me another right. attack action for your or another attack roll for your second attack. Oh. Uh, we're gonna say that it doesn't uh it doesn't work to hurt him, but you definitely grapple him in like he he's wriggling hard. Make me a strength check to contest. He is gonna... Okay, 16. Don't you dare struggle, scumfuck. He... Oh, this is not gonna be good. He's... Oh, this this guy is about to... <laughs> you immediately grapple him by the waist, preparing to suplex him. And he's like... Ah! And you're like... Because you just appeared out of nowhere, and you say that exact line. Uh... Oh, and your pupper comes in too. Uh, he can move up to thirty feet, five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five. He oh can he can God. move up behind the guards if you want. Him and then Sigurd just jumps at his throat. Sigurd will move behind the guards. I could step the dog with me. That'd be nice. Nah, you're not that powerful yet. Maybe Bahamut will grant you that power one day. Step. I fucking love this spell. So Poonch, much. it's your turn. <laughs> Okay, well then, um, I'm gonna Perhaps do the smart thing right now. Man alive. Yes, um, I do want to do. Uh, there's, crowded like, in here. there's two things I want to do right now. I really want to. This man's an elf, right? Yes. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Um, really want to charm him, but that's not gonna work out very well. He has the advantage on it. Um,. <laughs> I'm gonna turn invisible. Uh, okay. Uh, you turn invisible. Yep, I touch myself and uh, I'm invisible for one hour. Whoa. You hear you hear him scream. TOS. No, no. And, 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 and also on top of that, I'm gonna move in between my party members here real quick. Just so he can slip. hear. So you can make me a stealth check to do it stealthily, but he is going to try yeah. to make a, an attack of opportunity, which will be a disadvantage as you move out of the way. Actually, as a bonus action, so as a bonus action, I guess I should have done disengage for tonight. You can you can do a disengage as a bonus action unless the invisibility takes up your bonus action. Well, that I mean, the visibility was an action though. I believe. Okay, casting that's fine. Invisibility is full action. Yes, then, okay. then you absolutely can use an action to disengage, and he will not have any chance to hit you, though he was still okay. going to get. Okay, and I got 21, 21 to sneak away from him, so he doesn't know where. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, and I need to put this over back here. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, you, you successfully turn invisible and slip away. Uh, yeah, that's it? Yep, that's all I'm going to do for now until my next turn. All right, top of the turn, Jen. It's your turn. Top of the morning to you. Well, I guess I'm going to go. Well, I guess I'm going to stand here because I'm kind of blocked in. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could Probably. take, you could take a bonus action to try and tumble through everyone, uh, to move through them. You just have to make an acrobatics check, unless, uh, wait, no. Because you can volunteer, you could move I through you could them. Move through another player's space. It's just difficult terrain, or something. Yeah, it, I think that. I think yeah, that's it. it'd be difficult terrain. I, I was, for like, I was thinking on the level of like the enemies having to do a tumble, but yes. So you could move uh, through difficult terrain, so that'd just take uh, ten feet of your movement total. Move in and out okay. of the space, or, or fifteen feet technically, with the extra one to get out of the space. I don't really think that there's much need. We have the guy effectively incapacitated. Yeah, Just that's my thing. Is I'm like, hey, well, I was going to say I'll move up and help grapple, but then I'm like, I don't have strength. Why would I do that? <laughs> and I can't do that anyways. I'm just going to stand here. I think the uh, one that we need, right? I mean, you could probably talk to the guards and see if they're also in on this. You, you should grab a it. rope from my backpack. Uh, yeah. We could give you a rope. 
I could yep, do that. So I can tie this bastard. Uh, or I could tie him. I mean, that's what fifteen feet to move basically here. Okay. Then. Get my fishing tool out of here. Another 15 to walk up and apply rope. Uh, Make me a... Let's see. You're going to try to apply rope to this guy. See, he's not incapacitated, so he's going to try to get yeah, away from it. Yeah, he's going to fight back. Uh, Make me a... I guess a, an attack roll with an improvised weapon, or I guess I'm gonna make it a grapple check. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just make a make a melee attack with the attack action. Oh, and I forgot that they can use their acrobatics. Oh no, well, he's gonna he's gonna try to contest that with an acrobatics. Okay. So. Want me to roll too? Because I'm holding on to him? No, no, this is just against him. Okay, so that would hit. I got an 18. <laughs> and uh, make me a... Uh, you want We can use the 18 for this anyway. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. So you move in with the rope, and you start just uh, restraining him with the rope. Uh, one second. <laughs> Uh, okay, one second. Okay, wow. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so that's gonna be his, your turn. Uh, is that right? Yeah. All right, Salira, you're up. So, I suppose, well, I suppose at this point it's pretty clear that we are not attempting to kill this man outright. Uh, so, I'm not really sure, unless I my dumb brain is forgetting something, I'm not really sure that's much. there's much I can do to assist with that, other than also try to grapple him. <laughs> well, can two people grapple him oh, okay. at the same so, time. <laughs> um, unless anybody has anything specific they want to do, we can cut initiative here. Because he is both grappled and restrained by... Come on, let Koga take his turn. Okay, why? I'll, th I I'll, I'll cast this. web. <laughs> I'm gonna yell this. Boga, punch him in the balls! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, Boga, Boga's gonna make a... He's gonna make an attack roll. Watch that kill him. Watch that kill him. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, wait. What's his What's his strength score? Hang on. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. Nat 20. It's minus two. <laughs> he, gets in the he gets. He gets. It, he gets advantage, and then uh, advantage again because he's restrained. <laughs> oh no! He uh, he takes a swing, but the guy uh, is squirming and like wriggles out of the way. So Boga just kind of ends up punching the air. And he's like, "Hold still, damn it!" <laughs> and the guy, the guy is—is is, is that anything? Is that all? Does anybody else have anything they want I to do in initiative? Drive him. Uh, you know what? All right, you know what? Him. Initiative is cutting here. Do you want to pile drive him? Make, make a uh, make an attack roll just to see if or we can. Should I pile drive him or should I pin him to the wall over hey. here? Do what you why wish. Don't, why don't you kick him in the balls with your massive dragon strength? Because I'm holding him from behind. I'm gonna Take do a ball from there. Just I'm gonna do a slide with your tail. I'm gonna do a slide of hand to put one of the <laughs> swing your tail between your legs. God. And smack him in the nuts. I'm gonna put a slide of Sorry. hand and put one of the, the ribbons into Jamberman's pockets, so that way that's safe. You you okay? You okay with this, Jamberman, or do you want to roll a contesting skill check? Uh, am I wanna... am not invisible? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you can't you can't see this. Uh, yeah, I okay. Mean, I guess I mean, make I mean, a, make a sleight of hand check, Coon. I'll I'll, I'll see mean, if this works. 
I'm just I'm just doing this. I'm just doing a slight hand check because of the other guards and all that stuff, so they don't. Oh see yeah. Me. Well, you you are invisible, so you have advantage as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw I saw you go invisible, anyways, so I'm not going to probably show any signs of it, regardless. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Yeah, you easily, without anybody noticing, slip the ribbon into Jamberman's pockets. <laughs> Okay, and I keep the other one on me just that way. Okay. We've got both of them. Wait, does that number in parentheses mean you rolled an 11 and got 27? No, that's the no, bonus. That's, bonus. that's the bonus he gets. Oh, okay. So he rolled a 16. Uh, yeah. Okay. God, I hate these, these, like, these, uh... Christ, what's your fucking bonus? <laughs> that's why I just like rolling the dice manually, so I know exactly what I rolled and what the modifiers are. Yeah, I use the, I use the advanced dice roller. Um, which just lets me select what dice it wants to roll, and then I just click roll. You can also do the commands pretty easily. Yeah. True. So, true, true. uh, with that ended, uh, the guards s kind of, like, begin moving in and through everybody is like, what? What's going on here? What's happening? Uh, I'm gonna take a moment to whisper in his ear. Oh, you have no idea how fucked you really are. You take, it takes a second, but the guy suddenly goes very, very quiet. And I'm going to pin him to the wall to my left. Like where, um... Past, uh, past Jin to my left. Okay. Because I can't move him inside the wall. If I could do that, I'd be Doctor Strange. So I'm just going to move him... I'm just gonna move him to the wall to my left and pin him, if that's okay, Dom. Uh, yeah, so, like, right here? Mm-hmm. Alright, you, you, you pin him to the wall, and, like, he... So you're turning him around, or are you pinning him face first into the wall? I'm pinning him face first into the wall. Okay, so he you jam his face into the wall, and he grunts, but otherwise stays quiet. Okay. I will uh, I will also stay quiet while making sure that he is completely restrained. Yeah, he he is. He's he is doing his best to he he is just completely quiet. For for the moment once, anyway. Once again, I'm a salesman of Misty Step. <laughs> I uh love that fucking spell, man. I can't get enough of it. So the man is pinned against the wall. Yep. And I'm just going to say, so you have two options. You can either tell us everything you know, or you will die the most violent, <laughs> excruciatingly painful death that the most messed up person in our company can come up with. Obviously he, implying Ocularis. You, ca <laughs> you catch a glance back at you with his eyes. Roll me an inside check. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I'm not good at this. And he's looking directly at you. Huh? Oh, huh? well, maybe. Okay, let me see. Alright, you know what? Let's... Sebastian, you take a look at his eyes, and in his eyes, even you can see the cold... The cold thousand yard stare, this this look of do as you wish, it does not matter. Let me guess. No matter what happens here, you're dead. Do I have that right? He does not respond to you in the slightest. Okay, we can play that game. And I and I kind of set him down on the floor. And I step my boot, or my, not my boot, my feet, like, <laughs> on his shoulder, pinning him to the wall. So he's basically sitting with his back to the wall and my foot on his shoulder. Okay, you, you do so. And once again, he grunts, but does not speak to you. I draw my blade and just point it at, point it at him, but I don't do anything, and I just await for the guards to start. Coming well, well, the guards have already asked what's going on, so since nobody answered them, they push past, and they look at this guy, and he's like, What are you doing to, the guard to this guardsman here? This one's a spy for the sandworms. The, oh, a spy for the sandworms? And what makes you think that? 
I don't know. He started attacking my friend who had information on the sandworms. Uh, Kunj, do you mind explaining things? And... Will snap, their... <laughs> we'll snap their fingers and reappear. The guard kneels down yeah. and he starts patting the guy down. He tosses away the guy's uh, short swords. And he also tosses away a tucked away hand crossbow. And he just kind of starts searching through the guy's pockets. Uh, go ahead, Kunj. Uh, I just snap my fingers and tell him, yeah, I'm here. What exactly happened in the room that caused our crazy friend to blow up a damn door? Well, well, you're going to have to ask him about why he did that. But as for what happened on my end, I just put the ribbon on the ground for, or on the table for him to read. And the, the fucker threw a, a knife at me. And then within the next second, <laughs> our friend will, will open the door. It's safe to assume then you're with the sandworms. Seeing as though we came here with information regarding that group. The the guy the guy turns up to you and he and he nods. That's right. Ah. I see. And you're not willing to give us any information because no matter how much we torture you, whatever your boss will do if you manage to get back will be ten times worse. Sure. Ah. Right. The guard- Then I guess the most logical thing to do is to just kill you. And I'm going to swing my weapon at his throat, but I'm not going to actually hit him. Like, I'm going to stop shy, but I'm going to be bluffing the whole time. Do you want me to roll- no, because no matter how intimidating or realistic the strike is, he doesn't even flinch. The guard, finishing going through his pockets, he just kind of like tosses an empty piece of parchment on the floor. This is the only other thing this guy's got him besides a few coins. Ah, your will is strong, I'll give you that. And I shoot my weapon and stop stepping on him. He just kind of sits there. be honest i don't know what to do with this one okay so i'm gonna take a look at that parchment if um i'm just gonna sneak by grab it and take a look at it sure thing you grab and pick up the piece of parchment it is almost entire it, like it is blank it is just blank it's maybe a little bit wrinkled from having been in somebody's pockets but the parchment itself is just empty Uh, I'll tell you what, make me a perception or invest- no, an investigation check. Okay, doing this all right now. Thirteen. Okay, investigating the paper carefully? Yeah, nothing. You can't get anything. Though you do find it slightly suspicious that he is carrying just a blank piece of paper. I will let the party know that there's- piece of paper is very suspicious even though i can't figure out what, what's wrong with it <laughs> one moment uh, this is way easier on you my friend i have a respect for the amount of will that you have inside you now just tell me what is going <laughs> on here and we can make sure whatever fate you meet will be easier than whatever it is you'll meet back at home <laughs> you're a holy man aren't you i can see it I can tell. Let me guess. Uh, hmm, is it the god of war? No, you don't seem the type. Uh, Sebastian, do you want to make a contesting deception check or anything? Wear my holy symbol with pride. Ah, oh, I just noticed then. Bahamut, right? The the platinum dragon, the the Justicar. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Tell me, holy man. Tell me, holy man. You think you could send me to your god? That surely depends on whether or not I deem your actions worthy enough of execution. <laughs> oh, fair enough, then. Let what comes come. I have returned. And then he goes quiet again to have a vested interest in my god interesting 
Also, uh, I will say that uh, after, um, fuck, who was it that mentioned who picked up the paper first? Yeah, I, I did. It sucks. Good. Good. Very well. Uh, after he announces the paper, uh, yeah. so Lyra is gonna go here. Let me have a look at it. I uh, I hand it I hand it to you because yeah I had no idea. Make me an investigation okay. check. Okay. See if I can do any better. Coons, you could also help with the investigation if you wanted to give it a giver advantage. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll help out. All right, so we'll we'll give you advantage on this check. Okay. I rolled two thirteens, so that's gonna be that'll be seventeen. With the seventeen, you notice one additional thing about the paper. The paper seems lightly scratched up in places. Like, like something was done to it, but you can't really tell. Hmm. You could relay this information if you I don't want. I think I've gotten much more than you did. It seems a little bit scratched up, but I don't see much else other than that. Well, that's definitely not something you just normally do to a blank sheet of paper. What locations is it scratched? All over the page. Oh, yeah. In what so appears like, to be uh, random scribblings. Uh, like, random scratches to the paper. It, it's really hard to discern any noticeable pattern or anything from the from the way that it's done. I'll tell you what, with like with your with your check, very clear it's like so, it's like you know what happens when you write with a pen and it doesn't have any ink left. It's like sporadic bits of that. I'm going to conjure um, a firebolt in my hand and hold the paper a little bit above it and try and peer through it. Okay, conjuring the firebolt in your hand and holding it up to peer through it. Uh, you're careful not to burn it. And just looking at it, you think that there might be some text on here, but strangely, the light itself isn't helping. In fact, you think that the light might be the wrong way to go somehow. But you, you so you, you basically gather that hmm, maybe light isn't the way to go with this. Um, so you said it was crinkled, right? Yes. Like, well, because it was like in his pocket. Was, does it look? But it doesn't look obviously folded in any way. No, not not any more than you would like roll up the parchment and stuff stuff it in your pocket. Okay. I've got and, nothing left. Uh, and Jamban, you re re relayed that. Or, or actually, wait. So wait, th would Jamban know that um, the light's not doing it? But he, he, he wouldn't know that. He, he would need something else besides the light, right? He, he just knows that the light was a great idea, and in fact, I'm going to give you a point of inspiration for that one, Jamberman. Uh, but it okay. does not seem to be in particular what you might need. Uh, you imagine that the light might actually make it harder, as okay, kind of that, your little that's... push. But I and have I'm a way just, we could read it. Because uh, I'm, I'm just saying that Noah Jamman like, relayed it that way, saying that the okay. light seems to be making it more difficult or so. And uh, what was that? Uh, who, who said that just now? The Bunny Bard. Oh, the Bunny Bard. What's up? Yep. If I put it under my cloak, as I have my rabbit cloak on, as always... <laughs> you could you could do I that. Can create a dark area. <laughs> if light is wrong, try darkness. Okay. That also opens me up to investigate this paper myself. Sure thing. You guys could you guys could certainly do that. This is time, by the way. I've just been staring at him, I with making eye contact with him. I'm just looking at him. So this guy, the guard, well, well, so are you guys okay with Ocularis doing that? Yeah. I mean, it, I'm, pretty sure right Jammin would, I'm pretty sure Jammin would have said something on the lines of, oh yeah, this is kind of harder to see in the light. Okay. Or something like that, and yeah, we would probably 
So Ocularis, you can make your way over and make yourself a little dark, uh, a little dark area there. And you take a look at the paper and you realize something. Uh, you can't see. I, you can't see in the dark. You don't have dark vision, do you? No. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so you are just in the dark with a piece of paper. Get the cobalt. Does he, he has dark vision. The, does he? Does, hmm. wait, does he specifically say about not being able to see it because it's dark? <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting there staring at it. Cobalt, it's too dark. come here. I need your eyes. <laughs> So the kobold, the kobold runs over and he like peeks Aww. under the cloak and he's like, "Yes, what's on this paper?" <laughs> hmm. Let's see, let's see. And he like reads the paper, and it says, and it says something along the lines of, uh, oh, "Hang on, I have to come, I have to come up with not, not what." Okay, just a second. <clears throat> Keep keep quiet and find yourself in the center of town. Uh, Kunj is having a party, and you're going to need to be the special guest. What? The society is, the society is very happy to be cordially inviting you. And he says he says this very loud. Kunj, you recognize that speak? That's thieves can't. Yep, I know what that is. Yep, <clears throat> yep. I'm so, going to write it down so we can all see it. Just like on the stri- back of this piece I, of paper. I just want to add it. that, strictly speaking, Thieves Cant is supposed to be like a language of symbols, not really something no, that used to No, that's speak. not true. Thieves Cant, thieves can't <laughs> Am I thinking speakable. of something else? Yes, yeah, you're thinking right. of Druidic, I think. I mean, it can, Thieves Cant can well, I also be think spoken, it can be, because like, I know in broken. real life... In real life, it's kind of used like that. At least, like usually, there's like well, it's gang there stuff are nowadays, symbology but... to it. There's symbols that you can put on things, but you can actually write sentences. Yes. it's just I mean, stuff like John fell it, down the well, or so and so's gonna it, have a party. It's an it's encoded net messaging, regardless about how you do it. It's just yeah. um, that, that's well, mainly what I got from the thieves can. A description yeah, I basically. heard was it's language that only those in the know will understand. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I was thinking of something else. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. So, what do I understand? Okay. So, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post this for you in. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add a little handout to your journals under the important tab. Uh, it'll go along yeah, there. Uh, let's yep, see. I'll be. I was speaking up about this. Uh. God, I apparently can't write. Also, I need to look at um, one of my okay. spells. Okay. Right Where is it important, Katie? Is it in uh, items? Who the fuck is scraping around with a spoon? Your mama. Got him. I'm so smart. Okay. Not me. Dom, where is the important tab? Uh, it's in your, your journals. Just a second. Okay. I put well, it in yes, there as secret message par- parchment, but Kunj, you... But, d- uh, Dom, what? where in the journal? What is it located under? Items, sorry. Items, okay, thank you. So, the parchment says, your well, contract eliminate, eliminate Kunjiat by any means necessary. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts by the society. They are known to assume different forms and travel with a merchant. Be cautious and observant. Kunj probably stops short of that before say, um, speaking. Like, as soon as he starts to get the gist of what's going on, he doesn't read out loud anymore, just reads it to himself. Okay. Um, so they, the party caught, caught on the first part because, uh, yeah, Kunj does not feel um, confident right now. Okay. I uh, am putting that in with the important items but tab. But we, we all did hear the part of somebody trying to kill him, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. As, probably, soon as, um, so, as soon yeah. as you say that, Sebastian just pikes up. I'd like to see them try. Um. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was looking around for a second. Um. um yeah, I probably would... Your contract eliminate Coons, and that's when I probably stopped and read about myself. I have a society that no one to assume different forms. And Kuhn just looks visibly um, shaken up by this. Well, 
Bolts was their attempt to kill you, then it was clearly too pathetic for their own good. He... he he's not part... The control held the guards. He's not part of the Sandborns. I'll guarantee you that. He's an assassin. An assassin? Well, yes, well. I, I'm going to say to... I'm going to say to the guards, we'd like if you could keep this private for a little while and not let the public know that he's been captured. We'd like an opportunity to try and catch his um, clients, if possible. I know well, who the client is. Huh? Well, I know who the client is. I, yes. I, I suppose then I could leave him with you. Are you sure you want to take care of this thing by yourself? And he gives him a kick. I I looked and I Good flick look. him on the forehead. I'm sure we can handle him. All right. Uh, I will leave him in your hands then. Um, and uh, I guess we can, since you guys have done so much, we can leave this off the books for now. Thank you. Eh, as much as sorry for breaking. Uh, I'll tell the, the tell the guards. Sorry for bringing this upon you. <clears throat> oh, sorry all for right. bothering you about this. Well, all right, Kunj. Who is this client? Kunj just looks at Jen for to see if he thinks that he should come out with it. Because Jen that... being the only person that. That, that he has told about some of us. That would be up to you. <laughs> and that will be my exact response. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that is like... your decision to make. I'm... Not my secrets to deal in. Well, short, short of it is I am Mm, let's say wanted by a very powerful man in a very far off city, a uh, a very criminal man who. Um, Don't you make um, me make me a perception check, by the way, while you're making this explanation. Oh what? yeah, okay, yeah. Hold on, let me. I twenty-two. Okay. Uh, you catch a slight glimpse of the elf shooting you a look. Make me a separate insight check. Yep. I uh, don't know shit. Yeah, you you don't you don't really get a good you don't really get a good look at his face before he immediately snaps back to uh before. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll I'll, I'll yeah, say this: you can... catch you catch a weird little smile. He is a, um, um, he's a prince of crime back in the city that I was founded in. And let's just say to him, I'm his property. That's all I so like to So we find disclose. him, beat the shit out of him, and throw him in prison. Uh, I feel like if we were to interact with him... Given our history, I don't know if I could put him in prison because he's done Who a lot. Who said it needed to be an official prison? We have our own <laughs> town with the hole that goes to nothingness. <laughs> I know, true. I dug it. Oh my god, that's but... right! You have a hole that you dug trying to look for Wait, water, what? and it was just empty, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. We have a well that never worked. Oh, just kind of buried over in our. <laughs> We call it the forever hole. Because <laughs> we just used mm. earth to cover up the very top of the hole. And if arresting him isn't an option, then, well... That sounds dangerous. <laughs> this man... Let's just say to him, gonna fall into that. To him, yeah, I'm going to You're going to go back to the village and every single kobold... <laughs> oh, <I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> no, to, 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 get, to, get, to give the party a hint without giving away too much, I'll say this. Um, you remember what happened with those bandits and how I made that uncomfortable action? Um, let's just say it's related to why this man is so interested in me. All right, then we execute him. Okay. Easy I think you understand. Action. 
We just had, kept coming down a hole and forgetting he exists. It was like a... We were inter interrogating someone, and it kind of went a little bit overboard. Just a little bit. A little bit. But, but yeah, no, uh... Oh, no one uh, is anybody's property. If this man well, shall be arrested, curious, then he shall cry. be decapitated. I'll just say this, uh... The man's located in the jungles, um... What, uh... I can't remember the name on the top of my head because it's uh Rukrod. Rukrod. Jungles of Rukrod. That's where um our friend Jin here found me. Then to Rukrod we go to find an evil son of a bitch to remove the head off of. So I mean we I want I, let's start with we should... fixing our issues here, then we'll go yes. clean that up on the way out. Yeah. Ugh. Yes, because uh I don't want I don't want burden us with my own personal history. Overthrow government first. Go capture a bad Once later. said we're overthrowing the government, Ocularis. <laughs> that was the mission we were sent on. <laughs> that was not the mission we were sent on. <laughs> what I... is the mission you were sent on? We were sent... Me, whoever could this be? We were sent uh... to end the conflict. Could it be a <laughs> still on? I, 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 I will tell everyone. I cannot uh, hear what, I cannot hear what oh. he's saying. Well, uh, uh, well, first of all, Goon's going to talk very loud, pointing at the guards. Well, we're, I guess we'll have to figure out who the guy is pointing at the guards right next to us. <laughs> uh, yes. What? I pick, up, I pick up the guy on the floor, and I just heave him over. Come now, time to go to the forever hole with you. And I just uh, and walk I, outside. Sebastian's just going I, to carry him that's outside. That's not ominous. May I ask? <laughs> yeah. Who put the fucking French bread slippers? Don't Jack. worry about it. Nobody, <laughs> nobody has to worry about it. I'm that really was a rant. Now. That was a rant. Literally, look at the name. By the way, go, then go eat, eat the uh, their their bread sandals. Don't worry about it. Alex, fuck off. Don't be saying obvious shit to me. But I should know, boy. <laughs> I'll come find you. Steven, you sound like wisdom you, teeth, you, motherfucker. You yeah. sound like you need sleep, buddy. Go to bed. I'm actually not tired. Maybe you should go have a cracker or something. Dude, if I no nothing hard. I'm just I'm just imagining Steven eats a cracker and he's got like dry a dry ass mouth, so he's just smacking his lips. I almost made a joke and then realized that it would be against Twitch's very stupid TOS. Yo, we can't even talk about no. green beans. Wait, I'm sorry. No. I shouldn't have said the words. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna oh, well to move away from that. I'm gonna roll a history check to see if I recognize this particular person, if he was anyone this I elf? saw during... Yeah, this elf. Uh, make me a history check, sure. You know what? Why not? Yeah, just to see if, like, I recognize him from... No, nope, I do not know who... I yeah, have no yeah, 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 you're taking a look at him, and you think that you might have seen somebody like him, but you've seen a lot of elves in your time, so it's kind of hard to can tell. Can you hear me again? Yes, we can. My audio crashed for a minute there, sorry. Yeah, 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 because the only reason why, because that, that smirk was what, what my, my character was like, wait, do I know them? And just thought about, nah, wait, I don't. I, don't I know, know you. <laughs> nah, I don't. I, I guess I don't. <laughs> well, so Wait, are, you guys, are you guys, are you guys going to be taking this man into custody? <laughs> um, into <laughs> our custody, at least yeah. for the time being. I mean... Th this man, first of all, has the iron has an iron will, so it will be very fun to make him break not by violence, but by psychological torture. Because I'm going to annoy him so fucking much to the point where he either spills the beans out of pure psychological damage, or out of anger, he blurts it out to get. That same color, different name. Never mind. I'm just going to psychologically annoy him until he says something. You realize just by talking people, I can give them the fear debuff. It's pretty terrible. So if you just set him in a cart with me and let him me talk to him for a while, you could just have Ocularis take care of it. <laughs> as, as usual. <laughs> He's the answer to all of your morally ambiguous problems. Yes, yes, I am. So, so I'm going to plop him in the cart, and I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to say, look, we 
may not have got along, but I'm sure you'll get along great with my friend here. So I'll leave you two to it. Uh, do you need anything? Some tea? Some ale? He does not answer you. Good. That means less work for me. And I step off the car and just let Ocularis go to work. So I basically just talk to him for a bit. Okay, let me, let me, let me, what's the feat that lets you do that? Uh, um, words of terror. Words of terror. If you speak to a humanoid alone for at least one minute, you can attempt to seed paranoia and fear into their mind. Wisdom save against okay. your spell save, DC? Yeah. What's your DC? It's probably less of like a rational reaction, reactionary fear and more of like a, oh my fucking god, there's someone behind me. Yeah, it, it just freaks them out. It's psychological. My guy just seeds fear and doubt and paranoia. Okay, so what's what's the DC again? 15. Okay. I'm gonna make this roll with advantage. Fun. Okay, so he gets fairly frightened uh, as you talk to him in this very creep. Like, he didn't think that he could be frightened by by somebody like you, but... He's he is quite like frightened. You you he like your hood stares at him with those blank like eyes that definitely did not go glassy. They look just alive, and he he is quite he is quite a bit frightened. Wait, are you the rabbit from Donnie Darko? No, I'm the bunny bard because we killed that icky nasty bunny, and I wear it as a cloak. That's horrifying. <laughs> So I have this pus yellow rabbit cloak I wear everywhere. Well, that is pretty disgusting. Carly, <laughs> yum, yum. well played. You actually made something horrifying. I also sleep in the alleyways and eat random creatures I find. So. Horror is hard to do right, but you've clearly like, done something proper. Just like Seriously. I did your mom proper. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'll fucking do your dad proper. Don't, don't, don't even doubt me. It will be done. Steven, you're way too high, man. I'm not. Bad, Steven. I already <laughs> did your dad and your mom at the same time. Get fucked. Well, Alex, since you managed to do both of them, I'd give you a crisp high five if I could. But I'm in Montana. He is too. Still? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's still hanging around for a little longer. Okay. Okay, I thought you, you you were gonna like AFK out of here soon. Okay. He 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 literally is in like ten days. <laughs> okay. Come on. In the original plan, well, never mind. <laughs> it does. Peace Stein and just reasons. literally fades out of existence and then rephases back at his house. <laughs> okay, Alex, <laughs> I don't I don't use planes. I don't use planes. I just dissipate and reappear. <laughs> Alex is an interdimensional horror. He just shows up. Without God, I wish I was. At least then I'd be he cool. He shows up, drinks all your Mountain Dew, and then disappears. <laughs> that, that's fucking funny. Well played, Cameron. I like Thank that. You. A lot. Thank you. Thank you. I so... love how complimenting you are when you're. <laughs> and then when I run out of high. Mountain Dew, I drink all your Sprite. <sighs> all right. So Kunj, or not Kunj? Uh, sorry, Ocularis. You have this man in fear. What is your next? What is your next plan? I hand him over to the lizard man. Okay, are are, are you are you, cl- are you climbing back onto the cart? Are you are you gonna be in the room with him? I figured I'd just physically poke him out the side of the cart to the lizard man. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> he so fall he falls gonna, onto the ground. I'm gonna lean down to him. I'm gonna kneel. Get get face to face, eye contact. I'm gonna say, look, we don't see eye to eye. I don't like killing people. I don't. And to be honest, it's probably my least favorite part of the job. Well, your fucking and... friend does, apparently. Well, that's him. This is me. Look at I me. thought I was a yeah. fucked up piece of shit, but have you heard the way that guy talks? Now, you have lost. Your actions have led you to this point. So, your options aren't well numerous but in this last instant you can choose to end your life by doing good wait, why so don't you please offer, 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't. Back I the game. listen. So the, please, I I will just not do the right thing, and your fate will be softer, and perhaps your soul will find peace in the afterlife. Make me a persuasion check. Why not, like, offer him oh my God. life if he works for you? Twenty. Wow, that's a that's a good that's a good check. Uh, let's see if let's see if he gets this. Because he's a bad person, Stephen. We don't bad like people bad people. Can we do good things? I don't. Nope. Nope. He tried nope. to kill my. He tried to kill my friend. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Uh-huh. Listen. Listen. I'm I'm gonna be a dead man either way. So I'll tell I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will tell you everything I know in exchange for two things. All right, my freedom, or or my freedom and a few gold to catch a ship to the Gleaming Isles. How does that sound to you? Everything that I know. What you're going to do <laughs> if you can give me your word that you'll head to the Gleaming Isles with no no plan to return to this life of killing. Do you think I would be stupid enough to continue to be here? To let my to let them find me? <laughs> you really are as dumb as most of those holy men in that case. Let you find me. I'll tell you what. I can try to get you your freedom. I'll do my best. But since we're in Balbot, that might be difficult. No no, but if no you no. Tell me. No, I'm a resourceful man. You cut me free of my binds right now and give me 10 gold pieces to catch a ship out of this hellhole. I will tell you anything and everything that you know, okay? And as long as I'm far away from that bastard in the cart, who I can't believe that my organization has off- hasn't has offered a job to at this point, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be golden. We'll be kosher. Now, you know that... You know what? I've been relieved of my weapons! I've been relieved of my belongings! Tell me the information first, and I will let you go. As I am a man of Bahamut, a holy man, I keep to my word. Make me one more persuasion check. Oh! Oh! Just barely. (sighs) You holy men are all dumb enough to do something like that, but... All right, all right, listen, all right, I'll I'll answer whatever questions you have, and I'll tell you what I know so far. So, you probably already know that I was sent to kill your friends over there, and he, like, gestures over at Kunj. Correct. Yeah, and and Kunj Kunj is listening in on this to fact check anything he needs to fact check. So, we? as soon as he says that, and he says, yes, and that fact alone is slowly pushing me to wanting to strangle you to death, but I am holding myself back for now. Listen, all right? We were getting paid a lot, a lot of money. We are talking big gold. We were supposed to get a dead drop if the contract was completed perfectly. But as you can see, things are a bit of a stick Now, I would be careful, because I'm not going to be the only one coming after your little friend there. There are going to be more of me, more of my organization. And after my failure, they're probably going to send more at once as well. It's not exactly going to be pretty. Unlike you, they will all die. Do you think you could take out the crow's flies assassins that easily? (laughs) I look him dead in the eye. Oh boy. I look him dead in the fucking eye, and because... And this isn't me trying to convince him because Sebastian genuinely believes this. Looks at him and just says, yes, with a completely straight face. He he gulps and he's like, all right, all right. Suit yourself, I guess. Uh, w- what more do you want to know, huh? Where is the dead drop? I We don't know. Do you think that somebody would send us a dead drop before that contract was actually complete? Are you mad? Goodness gracious, get some sense, you big blue iguana. <laughs> where is your client? I, we don't know where our client is where our client is. The the only person we even know as a client is some place called the Society of Peoples. Where did you get the job? 
We got it by courier, and one of our own couriers, in fact, they said that they were approached out in the wilderness of all places. No one to no one to even get anything from. Just a strange man handed us the contract, and he was gone in a flash. Any ideas of who they would send next? Uh, uh, the, uh, we have a large collection of people. It would probably just be any of our elite assassins. Names? Particular combat styles? We don't even tend to deal in names in our guild. I have a code name, and uh, honestly, our code names change all the time for secrecy purposes. Well, what's the fucking that makes current a lot of one? Sense. We'll play Dominic. <sighs> If you want to know one of the elite, uh, they'll probably send somebody like Bear or perhaps even Shock. I, I don't know. Well, what are they like? They are elite assassins! What do you want me to describe their heights and their weights and their I, sexual I, I, preferences? I, 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 I punch, I punch <laughs> the fucking cart next to him as hard as I can and I yell, Quit your blabbering and ah! I'll go back on my word! Fine, fine. Look, I don't know everything about what all of my fellow assassins, ask, but... What I'm trying to ask if you know what they prefer to use as their method of killing. Oh, well, if you're asking that, it's just like me. A nice, good old stab in the back. But the elite guys, they have access to some very nasty poisons, too. I'd keep an eye out for those. Is that enough for you? I'd say that's pretty decent, but <clears throat> I may have some unfortunate news for you. As I am an advocate for your freedom at this point, since you complied, it is not up to me. And I look to Kunj. It is up to my friend here, the lovely man you attempted to murder. If he chooses to let you go, then I will abide by his word. If not, then, well, your fate is out of my hands. Oh, 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 you, hey, uh, what are you, a changeling or something? Yes, I am a changeling. Yes, what- the mess of the party. Whatever, I, I, I don't, I don't care anymore. Listen, right? You understand that these kinds of things are just business, all right? I don't have any personal vendetta against you or anything of the sort, and quite frankly, I've been more than compliant ever since I had to... And he got, like, cast a worried glance up at Ocularis. <laughs> Listen, you have my word that I won't be coming back at you, and if you have any questions, please come and ask me. I will tell you. I would rather tell you and get my ass off this fucking landmass than, well, whatever else could be possibly in store. Well, it sounds like you. Well, it sounds like to me you don't know much about what's going on with him. Who? However, who the hell are you your, even talking about? Your client. I know who your client is. Client? Well, I mean, surely. If fine, all right. I mean, I, I, I don't even know anything. I, I but what it sounds like to me, you do not know anything, and that's fine. However. I could probably let that go, but I actually want to actually quick, very quickly. I'm going to write, roll an insight check real quick because um, when he what said, are you looking um, for? It was that when he was said, saying it was just business. Okay. Because I, I just want to make sure. Well, I, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, yeah. It was totally just business between us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, e even so, he's Not trying to, he's trying to do as much as possible to make sure you know he's telling the truth. Okay, well, it's like, well, luckily for you, I'm also a follower of Bahamut myself, thanks to someone who is associated with your client, and just know this, I share the same um, sympathy as my friend... A paladin friend here. I'm not gonna kill you. I have no interest in killing you if you keep to your word. But if you're nothing more than a lying, backstabbing, hypocrite of a man, I'll find you. And I'll make sure to bring you to our bunny man for another round of interrogation. 
Tell her, uh, like, please no. He is an assassin, so he literally backstabs people. Listen, okay? I get you. Trust me, I do. I'm fucked unless I get out of here, so you won't see hide nor hair of me unless you come out on the seas and you see me basking on some kind of remote island drinking coconut water out of a coconut. Honestly, that life would be better than being here. Ugh. With him. Well, you sh Then so here. what? This is how we need to do this. So, I'm gonna walk up to him, and this may sound grim, but you want to disappear, correct? Uh... Uh-oh, I don't like this. I don't like it either, but if you are going to get out of here alive, and also have your name stricken from the record, as well as not tarnishing our reputation, I'm gonna need to take a finger. Uh, a what? A finger. A finger of your choice, I will take it and use it as proof of your death. Um. Uh. Well, I mean. Oh, goodness gracious. Fine. Here, take my, uh. Take my ring finger, I guess, on my left hand. Okay. And, he hold, and he holds uh, it out. Sebastian, very squeamish that he has to do something like this, uh, reaches for his sword, because that's the only blade that he owns. And he's going to, as swiftly as he can, cut the... Well, you know, at first, he's going to hand him his hemp rope to bite down on. Okay. And he's going to oh boy. quickly cut the finger off and then lay on hands, heal him. Okay. You do so. Hey. He bites down on the... Oh, uh, what's up, Chamberlain? I'm just going to, like, casually say after he's uh, sliced the finger off, you could just, like, press the digitation. A fake finger. <laughs> the guy, the guy, the guy coughs, and he, the guy coughs, and he spits, and he's like, "Whatever." Ugh. Do I? Do I? Ha can I get released from my binds now? I'd like to catch a ship before the day runs cold. As I finish, as I finish healing him, I cut him loose from his bindings, and as per my word, I hand him ten gold coins, and. The last words I say to him is, better not make me regret this. Uh, yeah, you and me both. And he he stands up, and he immediately just dashes off towards the sea. Not even hesitating for a second. I'm going to say, uh, once he's out of earshot, uh... <clears throat> Sorry. It's a good thing you only promised him his freedom and not his life, because I don't fancy his chances on his way to the Gleaming Isles. Well, <coughs> it is what it is. His life is in his own hands now. Well, well that's it. If it's... Holding the gross cut-off finger in my hand, I'm gonna, oh, I just forgot I'm holding this, and I fucking wrap it up in a small piece of cloth, and I'm like, all right, uh, I guess we take this to the guards if we need to report him. Gone. You, you, you guys can go ahead and do what you need to. I'm just gonna go lay down on one of the wagons real quick. I need Und time to myself. Understandable. So I will head back to the guard house and propose that the man is dead. Okay, you do so, and with his finger, the guards are a bit suspicious, but they believe you, and one of the guards is a bit squeamish about it. He's like, I don't want to know the details, just I'll write it up in the report. Are you going to give him any more information about the guy? Um, I will. I will say that he was a man, he was an assassin for... He was a man. Uh, crow's, crow's fly. Crow's what you, what, Crow's fly. He was an assassin for an organization calling themselves the Crow's Fly. Unfortunately, that was all he was able to tell us before he attempted an escape. Okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll get this noted. Thank you. Of course. And sorry for such a grisly thing to bring into this room. Just thought you would have wanted proof of his passing. Um. Yep. I'll. Uh. I don't think we'll add that one to the obituaries. All right. I guess I will dispose of this finger uh, promptly. Uh, uh, we'll we'll keep it in evidence. I I guess. Or yeah, you know, no, you know what? You keep it. That's fine. 
I don't. I don't want to. I will. I will. I'm All right. Give it. I'm going give to it. throw it. Give it. Give it, give it here. Oh, okay. We'll. We'll. Okay. We'll. Uh, yeah. I don't God. want it either. Okay. So they. They <laughs> take it. Squeamish people being like, no, you take the finger. No, you take the finger. <laughs> and so I will. I will give them a small, like, respectful bow and say, thank you for your time. So sorry that we caused such trouble. It's fine. It's fine. We can buy a new door. Have a good one. You as well. And I exit. All right. Uh, with that, it's been about three hours. Do you guys feel like breaking for today? Sure. sure. I think sure. that that sounds like a good place. Sure. New new things abound. Uh, thank you to everybody for coming and playing. I'm glad to be back on this regularly. And uh, I hope... That everybody has a lovely rest of their evenings. Hello and goodbye to anybody who was or still is in the chat. I can never tell. It's bad internet here sometimes. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. 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 I'm going to come.